looking forward to this shit ending, man. Real shit. Me too. All right, but, uh, yeah, we're live, Akim. All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, as always, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all you brothers out there. And, uh, you know, it's another week. All right. You know, we're back out here. You know, the prophesy. You know, against this wicked kingdom, all right? You know, uh, America, Babylon the Great, mm -hmm. and also the beast system, all right? Which is what? The EU, NATO, which is ran by who? Esau Edom, the so-called right. white man, okay? We're here to prophesy the downfall of his kingdom and the uplifting of our kingdom, all right? The Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. And just a side note, we do have... Some of our people that actually look like the heathens due to the fact that our men mixed and mingled with the heathen women. All right, but point being though is we're here to uplift our people and, and preach to them, the, you know, the good news. All right, the gospel, because that's what the word uh, gospel means. Okay, the good news of us getting out of captivity and us being the rulers in righteousness, mind you. Okay, okay, we're, we're going to be uh, ruling in, uh, in perfection. All right. You had some Shataria? Yeah, that's that, talking about this gospel that we're preaching, man. This is the good news, man. This is and, and, and it says repent and return to Yahweh Bahasham and believe the gospel. Mark 1 and 15. And saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Right. See? Believe this gospel that we Salakia that we preaching, man, okay? And, and and repent from your wicked ways, you know come back to, to your power, man, which is Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. That's right, hey, because look, uh, what did it say? Believe in the gospel? Believe the gospel. The scriptures say what? These words are faithful and true, okay? So whatever's written in these scriptures is going to come to pass, all right? And I'll say this, be, hey, our kingdom is coming, but before our kingdom come, this place that we live in has to be destroyed. And this is why you need to repent and return to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, because look, Great evils are coming. Hey, look, yesterday, they just uh, um, did a little science experiment, a little case study with you peons, okay? They shut down, you know, uh, basically the, uh, uh, you know, the computers, the uh -huh. internet, yeah, whatever uh, it Come was, on. okay? Et cetera. Come on, bro. All right? All they had to do was just hit one button, and look what happened that quick. Chaos. Chaos. All right? That fast. Didn't take long. And like I said, that was just a little, you know, experiment that they did to the people. Let's see how they react. Let's see what's going to happen. Look, that imagine that happening, right? Outages, you know, for these businesses for just one week, two weeks. Look, everything's going to start sh shutting down. You're not a, did these stores such as, you know, the Targets, the Walmarts, the Costcos, okay? So on and so forth. They're not going to be able to uh, uh, order you know, product. That's it. That's it. So you're not going to get your goods. All your medicine, okay, isn't going to be available. Because a lot of you are all on, on medication, okay? And that's what's actually just keeping you alive, right. barely. Right, right. Because you're not getting cured, okay? You know, you're just being stabilized. That's it. So if they take those uh, drugs away, you're completely through. That's it. Hey, and, 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 and like he said, uh, experiment. That's all they do is use you two thirds for guinea niggas for guinea pigs, man. What do you think uh, that COVID 2019, 2020? That was just an experiment. The real lockdown is on the way. It's it's about to come, okay? Exactly, because well, with with, with with a situation like what happened yesterday, and like I said, if it was prolonged, you people are gonna uh, 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 become lawless real quick. It doesn't take a lot of time. It's already happening with, with, with things being intact you know what i'm saying right so how much more when things aren't intact all right and that's going to give these uh, uh edomites get real quick uh, 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 uh um real quick shatari get, uh, uh, if a brother can get uh, uh daniel 8 and 24. that's going to give them the justification all right to lock things down we have to do these things for your safety okay and if i may elder 
Uh, it must be voting time because your president got the CV-19. Oh, yeah. Come on. It must that, be voting exactly, time. Exactly. Here we go again. You can, Same shit, different era. You got that. You got a, 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 another, you know, a candidate, you know, ex-president Donald Trump getting shot or so-called assassination attempt. <laughs> hey, and then the one guy was saying that, look, everything could have been prevented if we had these uh, uh, these chips. <laughs> hey, what do you think is what do you think the uh, 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 what the uh, the goal is here everybody you know yeah, but all you right. all don't know we know through the spirit that it's that revelation 13 and 16 the mark of the beast okay they all these things are look all roads lead to that that mark okay That's right. everything you see done here is is leading to that that, that particular time era okay That's right. but um this is it daniel 8 and 24 Baba Kusha. and his power uh, okay, and, and his power and, shall be mighty. And I'll say this: this is originally speaking about Antiochus Epiphanes, all right? Antiochus the fourth. But you can use this for all Edomites right now. Okay, keep reading our Daniel eight and twenty four. And his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. Yeah, because the Lord set up Esau. That's right. All right. Hey, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. wicked. Job nine and twenty four. All right. Hey, the so-called white man didn't come into power. All right, because he was so mighty, so smart, all right, so wise. No, the Lord set this stuff. Keep reading. Daniel 8 and 24, and his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. Uh -huh. And he shall destroy wonderfully. Destroy wonderfully. That's what Esau has been doing since he got into power. That's Keep right. reading. And shall prosper uh -huh. and, and, pra and practice, and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people exactly the israelites keep going out and the point being in 8 and 25 yep. and through his policy also meaning his laws mm -hmm. okay keep reading and through his policy also he's through his policy also he should cause crab to prosper yep keep going in his hand and he and he shall magnify himself in his heart yep keep going and by peace by peace shall destroy many exactly right. by peace he shall destroy many all right. That's why I brought up that situation where he's going to say, look, I, by me shutting down these cities. All right. By me, you know, basically being big brother to you. That's for your safety. That's that peace that he's talking about. But really, it's to destroy you. Exactly. OK, now he's got tabs on you. He can he can uh, tell you what to do. Oh, you don't want to listen to me. OK, you're, now your social credit's down. You're not going to be able to do X, Y, Z things they showed you that in Black Mirror. In one of those episodes, I forgot uh, 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 which season it was uh, in, all right? But it was a, uh, a whole episode based on social credit, okay? And, and they got that in China right now. If you don't do uh, 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 things to the T, you get points, you know, deducted from you, and that can affect uh, how you live in society, okay? You see? They're, they're going to do it here. Look, they already do it now. That's right. Look, if you speak out against particular things, you get shadow banned. All mm -hmm. right, you get your, uh, 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 your 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 pages taken down. You start losing money because remember, a lot of people make money off of social media. Right. All right, that's right. Through different uh, uh, um, what do they call monetization? Okay, you know you got YouTube, Twitch, uh, 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 what is that? Instagram, TikTok, so on and so forth. If you're being a uh, um, shadow banned, you know you not being able to access these uh, platforms now. A lot of people aren't going to make money. That's so, it. so that's going to lead to a, a lot of these people to trim their ways to seek love. They're going to fall in line. Okay. And they're going to they, they, they gonna submit. You know what I'm saying? See, us over here, we don't succumb to your bullshit. Yeah. We overcome. We endure. Okay. And that's through our power, right? But like the elder was just saying, the bishop, that in many in peace, and it, that's how Esau come. He came and stole all Issachar land in peace. He stole this land right here, took it from the Native Americans, and the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans are the biblical and true Hebrews of the Bible. Right. He came in peace and yep. gave them blankets full of smallpox and all that wicked ass shit. Yep. That's bad. Hey, let me get this again. And it says, and through his policy also, he shall cause crab to prosper in his hand and he shall magnify himself in his heart that's right and hebrew word for heart is lob that means your mind that's what he does he magnifies himself in his mind he got a god complex he think he want to be above the most high but he soon will learn that he's going to be brought down to nothing that's right 
and by peace, and by peace, shall destroy many. Yep. And keep reading this a little more. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken. Exactly. And this man's going to actually try to fight Yahweh Shah himself, and he's going to be uh, annihilated, okay? Because look, Yahweh Shah is not coming as a man. He's coming in his full strength and power. See, when he first came to this earth, all right, he was a lamb going to the slaughter, okay? But now he's coming back as that, that, that power, okay? That, 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 that lion, you know? That's right. Ready to tear, you know, things up, okay? You see? Mm -hmm. that, 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 that's what's uh, coming to this world, all right? And like he say, Isaiah 47 chapter, he tells you he will not meet them as a man this time, okay? So yes. he's coming in all his glory, all right? That's right. That's right. That's something? right. Yes. You got something? Yes, I got something. Uh, First Thessalonians chapter 5, start with verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, no, 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 no. We yeah. the then sudden destruction come up. Exactly. And that, is there any more? Sorry. Yes. Uh-huh. Then sudden destruction shall come up uh, upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape exactly so they, when they say when they say uh, uh it's peace and safety out here that's when sudden destruction is going to come and and look be, uh, is it, what do they call it the, the calm before the storm that's okay it. hey everything's calm before a storm but once that storm hits it's a wrap hey we just saw what happened in it uh a, a, throughout the chicago land area you had 24 uh tornadoes Touched down this place. And okay. an earthquake. Con. Yeah, and an earthquake. Was it central Illinois? If yeah, I'm not mistaken? yeah, the camp. You know? Yep. Okay. And a lot of stuff got torn up, man. I, 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 I've I, been traveling. I've been seeing a lot of trees uprooted. I just seen a, a this one spot. It was about like three or four of these, um, give or take, like little squares right here in the block. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Literally, it was uh, uh, ripped up. And mind you, it had a full mature tree. I'm talking about... I got a, a, a full maple tree that was mature, man. It, the, 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 that that was the strength of that that, that, that tornado, man. It, it, it damaged the house. It tore the whole west side you know of Chicago saying? up. All right. So this ain't no joke, man. Come on, come on. All right. Hey, that that that, 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 that destruction's coming, and you people are going to be through out here, man. All right. Hey, you guys are worried about uh the the, the what is it the MLB, okay? You're worried about what next festival to go to? Lollapalooza? Well, World War III is happening right before your eyes. Civil unrest is literally here, man. While you people are just fucking around. Good. It's cool, man. It's cool. Because when this shit hits, don't come crying to us, man. It's because you people are going to try to find the men of the Lord when that day comes. And we ain't going to be around. I ain't telling you shit, man. Because, right, hey, we're talking God. now. Hey, when that time comes, I'm keeping silent. Hey, it's for me, man. Not you. Get your own shit. All right, and if I may, Elder, I got Hebrews 10, verses 30 and 31. And they read, For we know him that hath said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and again, the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, shall judge his people. Exactly. The Lord's about to judge you two thirds, man. Okay? You so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You're going to get fucked up, man. Hey when, this, hey, when this cracker comes down, all right, with, with that wrath, you're going to get fucked up in that day, man. Everything's a fucking joke to our people, man. Everything all right? Everything's a joke to our people. You ain't lying. That's why they don't understand what's really going on in yeah. the world, man. All they're worried about is, is, is fucking okay. hey, the, the, the next fucking TikTok trend, all right? Well, like I said, what festival's coming up? All right. Oh, That's right. Who's giving right. party? Who giving it? James. <laughs> Bronny James. He's playing with his dad. Oh, my goodness. A fucking joke, man. You know it. And this is Hebrews 10 and 31, and it reads, <laughs> It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Exactly. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Because I was going to get Isaiah 10 and 5 real quick. Because look, the Lord is going to use Esau, even the so-called white man, to whoop your ass, man. He said, hey, the Lord's already been doing it. But our people, yes, hey, hey, they, 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 they get more rebellious. You get more fucked up. But you're like, you know what, fuck it. I, I, I'm going to keep getting more rebellious and more wicked. 
I'm going to do me. All right, do you. See what the Lord's going to do to you, man. And what do we say the, What do they say? Elder. You can't judge me. Only God can. Hey, shit. Hey, hey trust earlier, me. You don't, you don't want the Lord to judge your ass, man. Come. You got money for yeah. wars, but can't feed the poor. Come hey, on, hey, that's Ooh. exactly, man. A lot of you, uh, hey, hey your, e right. your EBT cards are about to go. All right. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> your, your Section 8's about to go. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Hey, hey, if you work for the government, hey, they're going to uh, uh, they're about to cut jobs. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. All right. Like I said, hey, all you, uh, uh, you know, uh, TikTok famous stars, oh. Instagram famous stars, you ain't going to be making money soon because they're going to cut off the Internet. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. So what are you going to do? You go die. Exactly. Like the brother <laughs> said, you're going to fucking die. Man, I'm in the spirit of rebuke, man. I'm That's tired cool. of these people, Bring man. Bring it up. This is Isaiah 10 and 5. Oh, Assyrian, the rod of my anger. So that represents, all right, Esau, eat them now. That's it. All right. Mm -hmm. you, you had the Assyrians, all right, whoop the northern kings, uh, kingdom's ass. All right, right back in the ancient world. Hey, hey, and now, hey, the, the, the modern day Assyrian is Esau, eat them a so-called white man. He's going to uh, beat the shit out of you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay? And hey, this dude's about to get back to his... Uh, Real estate, all right? He's ab about to start uh, tying you up, skinning you, all right? P putting stuff up your ass. Doing weird shit, man. This dude's a fucking freak. That's what he Straight is. up. The dude's a, hey, you got, see, people don't, don't realize that this guy's a fucking psycho. You're literally dealing with a real psychopath, man. That's right. All right? Hey, the main serial killers are who? Edomites. Edomites, so called white people. In particular, the so called white man, all right? Hey, I'm not, hey, I'll say this. I ain't enough. Uh, negating the so-called white women because she's a goddamn devil too, man. Hey, but the so-called white man, Esau Edom, is, is the fucking devil, man. All right? Pedophile. A pedophile. That's right. That's right. All right? Not that one. You know? She ain't no fucking joke. Uh, uh, keep reading. This is Isaiah 10 and 5. Oh, <laughs> Assyrian, the rod of my anger and the staff in their hand is my indignation. That's the Lord's indignation. Hey, all this shit that this man does to you now and what he's gonna do in the future, that's the Lord's anger, man. That's it, that's it. Hey, the Lord's using this man to, to beat the fuck out of you so you can get right. Hey, but for some reason, our people are like, you know what? Let me be a bigger drug dealer. You know what? Let me be a bigger thug. You know what? Let me be a, the biggest slut. You know what? Let me take this guy's woman that guy's woman, I can't get off unless I'm committed adultery. Literally. All right. When the Lord fucking cuts off your rod, hey, let, let, let's see what's up then. You got yeah, this shit more. Is there more to that? By any chance? Read one more verse. I think verse six. There, there's, okay. a, there's a point I wanted to get out because it talks about uh, it's like a hypocritical nation. The Lord sent him against this hypocritical nation. Isaiah 10 and 6. And it says. I will send him against the hypocritical nation. That's talking about our people. Keep reading. And against the people of my wrath will I give him a charge. Exactly. So the Lord is allowing this to happen. And our people are that hypocritical nation, right? And the reason why is because you say that you love God, love JC, right? But you do everything opposite of what the Lord told you to do. Okay? You people uh, uh, worship idols, money. Okay? You do a bunch of drugs. You kill each other. You guys talk about Black Lives Matter, but you're fucking killing each other. Hey, and I'll say this ain't just you so-called blacks. Same thing with you so-called fucking Mexicans and Puerto Ricans too, man. All right? You go to Humble Park, you go to Little Village, and they're killing the, uh, their own brother. And, hey, but when the white man comes around, they ain't saying shit, man. Nothing. Nothing. Just pull their pants up, man. That's it. Rolling out the fucking red carpet for his ass. Exactly. That's what you're doing. Oh, God. Uh, uh, you know, Kim's walking her... Uh, her, her, her French bulldog. I'm so happy. And she's got a Starbucks and she's got a, a latte in her hand. Oh my god, the neighborhood's changing. You fucking punk. You're a fucking punk, man. I can't stand our people. They need to be fucking destroyed terribly, man. That's right. I, I'm praying for their, hey, their destruction, double destruction, man. I'm in that spirit. Our people are fucked up, man. Keep reading. Isaiah 10 and 6. I will send him against an hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath will I give him a charge to take the spoil and to, to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the streets. So the Lord is going to use this man to stomp you out like you're a piece of shit. All right? Good. 
fucking good, man. I mean, well, what what positive thing do our people produce? Crickets. <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> Nothing. Hey, that's why we. Hey, I, hey, fuck Esau, man. I can't stand these people, man. All right. I can't stand Ishmael. I can't stand Moab, Ammon, all these other nations. But I'd rather be around them than than these motherfuckers, man. I got something for you. It is better. They treat that. They'll actually, as long as you conduct yourself right, they'll actually treat you better than your own people, man. That's it. That's right. This is Jeremiah 4 and 22. It says, for my people are foolish. They have not known me. They are astonished children. And they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. That word solid, that's foolish, okay? They are foolish people, man. And that's what you two third ass jakes are, man. Because you, you, hey, <clears throat> Hinduism. Buddhism, Confucianism, niggerism. That's right. Exactly. Everything but your power. You how about Hashem? You how about All right. Hey, but um, that day is coming. That that Je 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 Jeremiah thirty and seven. That that day is coming, and that trouble is coming. Okay. Oh, you leave it right there. Okay. That trouble is coming, man. And like, and like we was just talking about, man, you're going to be looking for answers. Hey, and that famine of the world going to be at your ass. Just like he set that ark on him. The Lord is going to take us off the street, man, where you can't hear this anymore, okay? Now, and it's funny you just mentioned the ark while I was cussing and snapping on my sister about my okay. other sister. And I was, uh, I had told her, I called her to cuss, cuss, what going on, shit, what they're doing in the house, you know, they tore the garage down yeah, yeah. illegally and all that shit, and they're trying to sue me to pay them for tearing my shit down, and, but we all got my siblings' name on it, so yeah. now they tweaking, because they got served on some shit that ain't even none of your motherfucking matter, you know yeah. what I'm saying, over something that the wicked city is doing illegally, you know what I'm saying, and I just mentioned, like, man, and I told my other sister, like, no, fuck her, and um, the, the one sister who's coming against me, and made the most I kill her too, and I don't give a fuck. Because I'm about the most high, and I said, uh, and I made a statement which made me just triggered it. Okay. I said, um, the most high destroyed the earth with a pool party, and he's gonna make that flood look like it was a you know. I said, uh, the Lord destroyed the earth with the flood. He said, kind of, he said, uh, and I said, uh, um, the Lord's gonna make that destruction look like a pool party, yeah, because it's gonna be a fire party with the missiles that's about to come down. And anybody who's not right with you, how about Shimmy, how shy, anybody who's not right with, with creation that he, he created and the men of the Lord that he created and the law, statute, commandments that he created and the rules and the way things are supposed to go down, the way he created, will all die by death, by pain, Ooh. a fiery death, all right? Ain't gonna be no fun in Babylon. It's gonna be destruction in Babylon. And not only Babylon, but multiple countries outside of Babylon, the motherfucking well, the, great. The, the scriptures say, oh, woe to the world. Come on. And them that dwell therein. So Come it's on. just not Babylon and a few countries. The whole world is gonna, cause you know what it is? Esau is losing, right? That's right. And so he knows that his ship is sinking and he wants to take everybody down with him. Right. All right, everyone's gotta go. If I'm going, right. you two. Right, right. You three. Hey, wait a minute, wait. Ugh. Wait a minute, he at the, he at the basketball court? And then he, everybody playing with his ball, that's it. but that's then, it. but then he don't get picked up the next game oh, and he yeah. take the ball. I, I ain't playing. I am taking my ball. That's it. That's it. If I can't play, can't nobody play. And that's how Esau wicked ass system is, man. How you doing sister? You know, so. But it's time to watch the Olympics, right? Another distraction. Watch out now. Cheer on your favorite and, and it's funny because they're going to Paris. And Paris is, hey, everyone used to thought it was what, the city of love. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was such an uppity right, society. Right, Paris is a fucking dump, man. Everybody who's been to Paris that I know of yeah. and they told me about it said, what the fuck is the hype? They yep. said it's trash. They said the Eiffel Tower trash. Everything there trash. Yeah. Fuck out of here, man. It's through, man. It's throughopolis. And, and it's funny because the Lord has been taking Esau's, you know, great, basically kingdoms down, Good. right? You know, Greece, uh, 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 Greece is a dump too, Damn. right? Hey, wasn't that his the start of his, you know, uh, epic that, civilization? Yeah, that's the start that, that's of the rule. Spain, France, so on and so forth. Uh -huh. It's all trash now. And these were at once uh, uh, top uh, 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 kingdoms of the earth, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord is just slowly, and he's breaking it down bit by bit. Taking this brick out, that hey, brick, brick out, right. and eventually the Lord's gonna take out America. All right, the the the, the last of it, his great civilization, man. Hey, what do they say? You save the best for last, right? That's right. right. That's okay. Right. The Lord is saving the best for last. This is gonna be the big bang over here, man. Hey, you guys missed the uh, uh, the fireworks show, right? 
That's that, right. that July 4th fireworks show out here in Chicago. Don't worry about it. That's right. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> hey, the nukes are coming, man. You're going to see a big bang soon. You want to see right. some fireworks? It's coming. All right. You're just going to be filled to it. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be a part of the entertainment. <laughs> You're going to be a part of the show. You're going to hey, be man, a part of the show. That's Good, right. Man. Yep. Scumbags. Oh, boy. All right, but uh, anybody got a scripture? If not, get there with the elder called that uh, Second Ezra, with Second Ezra's nine. Yeah. Brothers don't have anything. Cause hey, the elder made a point. You know, he quoted the, uh, 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 how they're gonna uh, die a uh, uh, death by pain. Is it? It ain't gonna be a uh, uh, oh, you just got shot in the head and it's a wrap. No, the Lord is gonna make you suffer. Oh, Yadi got the sign. Yeah. Yadi so. got the sign, and Yadi. Yo, yo, uh, Yadi Riley, you got the. Uh, you got the sign. sign? You got a sign today? So oh. no, then Yachty was to the sign of Cleveland in his car. Oh, damn, he went to Cleveland too? I, th yeah, I think he went to Cleveland with, yeah, the, with yeah, Yach yeah, and the other yeah, brothers. Yeah, going off. I know, I, I was supposed to go too, but the spirit told me to fall back, so God. I fell back. Um, no, but give me, um, as the Lord destroyed the earth by flood, as in the days of Noah. Oh yeah, second right? Peter. Cause, <clears throat> but, but people don't understand, there's a big destruction coming. And it's gonna be a dividing line of making somebody give your foes will be a, they your own household. You think your mama cool, you think your daddy cool, you think your cousin cool, you think your friend cool, your husband cool, whatever. And that when shit start hitting the fan, y'all gonna find out who really love you. And I'm telling you right now, Thanks. your family don't really love you, bro. Thanks. Yeah, your, your sister, your brother, your cousins, your uncle, uncle, half of them don't fuck. Matter of fact, majority of them don't love you, bro. That's right now it's cool and everything's great. Everything's always cool and great when everything's cool and great. But when, when the food starts to go short, when the chaos starts to go up, when the, um, the matter of fact, give me second Ezra 15 chapter. Give me second Ezra 15 and uh, start off with 14. This, this is what the Lord is telling you, what the world that we're living in is about to go down. And you all re getting ready to go to the goddamn festival. Y'all getting ready to go down to the goddamn beach. Y'all worry about everything but learning about the Heavenly Father, the true Israelites, and how to live your life full of, of righteousness, man. You got all these things and memes and st stories that God ain't real and and uh, uh, y'all he y'all black Hebrew Israelites and 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 God love everybody. Y'all are dumb and crazy. Y'all y'all uh, lost your fucking minds, man. And the Lord is about to show you. The Lord's going to show you. Right. All right. And we were so wrong and we would actually not have the power of the Lord. Why wouldn't the Lord take us out? Why won't the popo take us out? There's a popo right there, right, right around the corner in the park. Why he ain't stopping us from saying what we're saying and cussing you stupid motherfuckers out? Because hey, we're teaching the truth. Even though you had the el elder Manata Zakba from South Carolina say this because they were saying that uh, they were cowards, right? Because you know how uh, uh, Apostle mm -hmm. talked about um, call, 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 yeah, yeah, the cops on a uh, vocab if he comes. But he made a great point. We're cowards, hey, but he mentioned all the brothers in the South, right? They, 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 that's a, a, a lynch city, man, back in the day. All them Edomites, they're all, they're all the judges, the cops, yep. all right, the paramedics, so on and so forth, right? Anything can happen. You know what I'm saying? How are they cowards? All right. Hey, this is of Yahweh Shimei Al Shai. That's why we're able to do what we do. That's right. Because yeah. hey, if this was, hey, uh, the brothers always uh, say this, if this was in the 1960s, this wouldn't happen. This wouldn't have happened. Hey, Jake would be on the, a pole like this right now. What you mean? As soon as we would have came out through, we, we didn't even have to say Shalom. We are the real Hebrew, and we don't even have to say that. As soon as we would have came out, I'm like, <clears throat> set up a sign. Hey, but, like, huh? What do you want to do? What you mean? What about what, 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 It wouldn't have happened. Go in the 1700s, the 1800s, the 1950s, Go 1960s, the 60s and 1970s. 70s. It wouldn't have happened like that. The Lord brought this ministry out when he brought it out because it was time and he also put a hedge of protection around his men of the Lord, which we don't take advantage of in a wicked way. We take advantage of it in a righteous way. The Lord said, use the world and not abuse the world. You got something? Yes, God. Uh, Apostle Taha made that, uh, made it also another uh, good point on that, uh, call it based on vocab. Mm -hmm. vocab. He said, because, you know, we go according to the scriptures, man. It's Satan, no Satan. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Six Satan, no Satan. Yeah. That's beautiful, man. Not that perfect. And, and once upon a time, man, you know, like the elders going into, we wouldn't be able to walk around like this, man. We had to walk around like this, man, with our heads to the ground and our, you know what I'm saying? Don't you dare look at a white man in his face, man. And you remember Don't that. Don't you fucking Tell dare. Him. Tell him, because you, know, you remember right. it. You know, you can't look, you couldn't look and challenge a white man. That's challenging to a white man. Ever. That's challenging to a white woman. That's threatening to a, uh, uh, that's, that's, that's a sexual, uh, 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 that's sexual, what do you call it? What do they call it? Harassment to a white yeah. If Whistling you look at bitch. a white woman in her eyes, man, that. Timmy, they, yeah, Emmett Till, man. Come on, That's, man. Come on. This shit is real, come man. Come on, man. This ain't, ain't this, we ain't making this up, man. 
This is circular history, man. Their history. That's why they want to take it out the books right now. Mm -hmm. Out of that shameful spruing on their glory. That's right, brother. They want some kind of glory right now, but you don't get none. See, see, this, you is, know? this is wrong. With, this is what is wrong with modern day Jake. First of all, they don't know what went down in the past. And guess what? When you tell them to come watch the old slave flick, when you go tell them to go ahead and watch and do a little roots history, and so forth. I don't want to. I don't want to see. That. I don't want to see nothing about slavery. I don't want nothing. I don't want to do nothing about that. Hey, what about now? I'm good with that. So you suppress your history. The level. The the the, the scripture says, "Never trust thine enemy." As iron rusted, and he showed me a piece of iron that's never rusted. If iron is in the elements, it's going to rust. Hey, All right. May I say, Baba Kasha? May I say, please, because that's beautiful. Because iron is a slow fire. Mm -hmm. Never trust your enemy, right? Because mm -hmm. his, uh, his 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 rust is gonna it, it never goes away. The Lord is slowly burning this place down, man. That's right. The wicked, That's you it. know, never trust that wicked, man. That's right. This wicked place, man. Earth was given into the hands of the wicked, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. And for a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, put their trust in a so-called white man, his books and his bullshit. You just, I can see all of our so-called ancestors rolling over in the grave, goddammit. And guess what? Our ancestors back then, it's us. So you're really hurting yourself, like the scriptures say, man. Your own things have, your own sins have withholding good things from you. That's right. All right. Mm -hmm. Right now, your 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 hard headedness to come to the understanding of the truth is stopping you from hearing the law, statutes, commandments, for you to repent and and humble yourself down to the heavenly Father and the scriptures. You got so-called black folks today saying they don't believe in the Bible. No, no, that's a white man's book. The white man wrote the white. Then if the Bible, if the white man wrote the Bible, why is it said my skin is black upon me and my bones are burnt with heat? Why did it say that the Edomites, the so-called white man, is going to be our slaves in Isaiah, the 14th chapter, and the first and second verses, man? Y'all don't read, stupid. Mm -hmm. my, whole thing, my whole thing is, in what, why are you reading the Egyptology book? Come on. So-called white men made that book. That's right. All right? They, they, they came up with, with their whole ideology and religion, because that's what it is, all right, uh, of being an Egyptologist. Okay? Why, why are you following that? And they tell you that, man. You, you go into the, you know, the history of it, mm -hmm. it's like several of them. Mm -hmm. See, Esau will always, somebody said this in one of the memes. E, uh, no, what I think a brother said, some, I've seen, I seen it today. But everybody will see, like the scriptures say, the scriptures say it, right? Your, you, you, you can, your tongue is going to fall against himself. Somebody get that real quick. First one, get it reading. Uh, about how their tongue should fall against themselves. See, the way the Lord created humans and angels is we can't help but tell the truth. Even if we lie great and, and, and can put a whole bunch of lies together, eventually the truth can come out because of pride, man. You, you can't, the Most High got a perfect system. You will be caught. He said, make sure you know your sin will find you out. You got it? Yeah, Psalm, Sorry, uh -huh. Psalm 64 and 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. I don't give a fuck who you are. If you're wicked, just read it again. So shall the Psalm 64 and 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. Your, your, your tongue is going to trick off on you if you're not right. All right? And now, to show you how cold the Lord is, the Lord would tell a righteous man, keep your lips from the uh, or her that lie from your bosom. The Lord would tell us, uh, don't, give, don't give your pearls to what? Swine. The swine. We, do, do the Most High tell everybody all his secrets? Nope. Yahweh Shai don't even know the day he coming back. And he's Yahweh Shai. So you don't understand how the, the righteous move, but the wicked, their tongue will what? Read it again. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that, all that see them shall flee away. That's right, right. And that's what's happening right now. All these nations, okay, are fleeing away from Esau Edom. In particular, the American Edomite. All right. Hey, the, the one that was more stout than his fellows. Okay, as the scriptures say. As Donald, Donald Trump did like this. <laughs> And popped his, <laughs> popped his count. And <laughs> hey, that dude is a true devil, man. Um, and then, and then, and then, and then, 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 then the, the, the little <laughs> back, like, yeah, man. But that, but that spirit is in the earth right now, man. Right. Yeah. All right. Oh shit, he said that's right too. Oh. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Them, them, them demons. Yeah, hey, and he didn't do that down there. Them demons jumped on him right because we over here. Demon. Them, them demons. Oh, hey, the, they, 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 demons did it to all the men of the Lord back in the day. What they ain't gonna do to the righteous men now? That's why I come. Mm -hmm. He says, Proverbs three and thirty-one: Envy thou not the oppressor, That's right. and choose none of his ways. Some of his ways. None of his ways. See, this is what's wrong with our families, our peoples. 
they 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 believe in their the, the system they believe in the taxes and being taxed and being overtaxed they could they believe in fourth of july they can matter of fact they can't wait for the next holiday the fucking day coming up God. whichever one it is was it memorial day maybe a uh, labor day or one of them motherfuckers labor day. what's what's this uh this is labor, end of labor, july right ain't shit in august uh, September, I think Labor Day come around that time, right? Yes. And, and as a day of labor to celebrate the labor, celebrate being a slave, yes, you dumbass. Yes, yes. All right, and then after that was that September, October, you got weekend Hallow's Eve, yep. Halloween. Yep. All right, then Columbus after Halloween, you got a Columbus bitch ass day, Crystal Ball Cologne. Yeah. All right, and thanks then you, killing. Then, then you got thanks killing coming right after that. Then you got wicked quit criminal. Criminal. All right, put a cage. I put a cage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> See, and that's what the L was talking about with that rust. Like if you hold some iron and it's rusty, it get on your hands, yeah. right? That's just like when you take on the ways of this wicked ass place. That shit rub, you can't get rid of that shit, yeah, man. Yeah, the script. You said another says that's tar touches pit. Yeah, get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah the pitch. Fourteen. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, second yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 now, while he's getting out, anybody holding any one of those? Yes, I'm holding some. Uh, Gotta go ahead. Yes, uh, Elder, I have uh, Psalms 37, starting with verse 9. For evil doers shall be cut off, yep. but those that wait upon Yahweh, they shall inherit the earth for yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. And I cannot wait. Because even right now, while we're preaching the word of God, you get side eyes from motherfucking bitches walking by, side Whoa. eyes from fucking niggas walking by, and they looking at us like we crazy. When we're trying to warn and tell you the motherfucking truth. When your fat, overweight ass need to go fucking get on a goddamn diet, and you need to goddamn read a goddamn Bible and read get some understanding in your motherfucking ass. Con. You think the most High playing with you fucks? The most High gonna show you he ain't playing with you. There's about to be great destruction, and it's right around the corner. Hey, it's good, man, because you know what? When your bank account says zero, all right, because they look, hey, like we brought out earlier, hey, they just did a little test run on you guinea pigs, uh, okay, uh, Friday. But when they really, you know, shut this thing down, hey, you had, you know, a couple hundred thousand, maybe a million in the account. When that's zero, you're going you're gonna to freak out, man. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to give you UBIs, uh, universal yeah. basic income. And they're going to be happy with it. Yep, and everybody's going to be the same. <laughs> Chicago just forgot about the tornadoes, didn't it? You know what I'm saying? 20, it was it 28 tornadoes? 24. 24. 24. Tornado, mm -hmm. Tornadoes ripped through um, the, the yeah. well, not in the heart of the city, because of the day, only re and the only reason why is because all these towers dis disrupt that wind. And if the most high wanted it not to work that way, he could still make a tornado hit this bitch. Right. But from uh, the last tornado that actually hit in the inner city of Chicago, Chicago, was I think in the late 70s. And, and um, from the stories I hear from the old timers, uh, they took a, a, a even school bus or city bus was taken and lifted off the. Uh, what's up, your brother? Um, 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 uh, was taken from off the expressway mm. and taken uh, about a, a several blocks to a mile away or something like that. Yeah, and that's hard. and that was on, that was off of the Dan Ryan. You know what I'm saying now, now you might remember that, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You remember that? I'm trying to. I'm trying to think right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna be. I, I ain't gonna bug you. You should remember. I remember. You should, I, remember. Hey, you should, I, see, I remember. I see. You should remember yeah. that too. It was in '72. I was. See, I was right not now, born yet. I was. I, I was born in '74. So I, I, I was I was around that time. I thought it was about 78 or something. I couldn't remember the year, but yeah. I thought I was either a baby or I was, was not born. It was 72. It was 72. Did, did, so something like the old timers, they remember that shit. Now, but guess what? No, if they hear them sirens going, we heard them sirens. Yep. They, it was, all, all what, was, what was Jake, Jake doing? They didn't give a fuck. Jake did not care. See, Jake, you've been, what's that uh, What's that term they said in the Rock. movie? No, Rockabye Baby. Uh, uh, and, uh, and, uh, uh, what's it? Uh, Wesley Snipes Lala in the movie. Bam. Uh, what's the movie? New Jack, City. New Jack City. You got it. Come on, bro. Lala and Lala and she's like, rock a bye, baby. Lala you know what I'm saying? They all rock to sleep, man. Lala. The Lord said you Lala. sleep, Lala. man. Yeah. All right? Y'all, matter of fact, he said that uh, when any who are the righteous, hopeful elect, now, so like it, any Israelite that wandereth out the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. You dead. You sleep. All right? Um, did you got the scripture? Yeah, I got it. You have more now? Yeah, I have more. Uh -huh. uh, Psalm 37, verse 10. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, those shall digitally consider his place, and it shall not be. He said the wicked, just in a little while, ain't going to be no more. That's the reason why the hope of righteous elect is rooted and grounded in this truth. All right, just like a tree planted by rivers of water. What's that water? The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh by Shimei, Yahweh Shai, by Shabbat and the Holy Spirit resting within us, building us up. Okay, so we, you know what? Doing all this bullshit, 
all, what, what the scriptures say? Here, we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Mm. We're not cool here. Majority of our people, they think this is the kingdom of heaven. Man, they love They it. really think this is the kingdom of heaven. This yeah. is the end all be all of a society. They really believe this is a progressive society, but if it's so progressive, why are people dying left and right? Okay, see in the kingdom, and in particular for you Israelites, we're not gonna uh, see death anymore. We're not gonna uh, deal with pain, sorrows, all right, so on and so forth. And that's because hey, we're gonna be upgraded, all right? We're, we're gonna have those, uh, uh, those, sp uh, those spiritual bodies. We're gonna have the laws in us, okay? And we're never gonna fail. They, 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 this is a weak society, real talk. Hey, that's why the scriptures, when it talks about uh, in, in Daniel, where it talks about the statue, right? It, it went from gold to silver, all right? Uh, what was it? To, um, bronze. The bronze. And then it went to what? That iron. iron. Yeah, iron is strong, but it's ugly as all hell. Look at this place, man. It's a dump. Go go, go to San Francisco. Uh, go, go, go to Seattle. Go to New York. You got people literally shitting in the streets, man. And drugs and needles yeah. all over the place, man. Matter right. of fact, right. just go, fuck that. Go, go to the south side of Chicago. Matter of fact, we're in Hyde Park right now. Hyde Park, if you go a couple of blocks this way past 51st, all right. If you uh, um, you're gonna get uh, out of out of um, High Park to Kenwood, and then right outside of Kenwood, Ooh. you're gonna be right in Throughopolis. Okay, in Old Brownsville, <laughs> all at the original. That was the whole original Black Belt. Okay, right. you go you go uh, west, road. you go west, and you get right. If you go oh, west and get road. past right. Washington Park, soon as you get right past oh, King oh, Drive. Boy. All right, matter of fact, they say Cottage Grove. Yeah, that's the that's the yeah, I got to say, my bad. That's the spirit here. You said it right as I was thinking it, dude. No, no, Cottage Grove. Cottage Grove, <laughs> it, it, Cottage Grove <laughs> even sound like a Cottage yeah, Grove, man. Let's go to King Drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cottage King Grove, Drive. man, but you got to soon as you back. Right, right. You might, <laughs> see, you <laughs> might not make it to Cottage Grove. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, so that's Cottage Grove. Now, if you go south, get right past 61st. As soon as you get past, no, I say 63rd, but 62nd is that buffer zone, 61st, 62nd, uh because -huh. you got a couple of the uh, University of Chicago bullshit, and then one more block is blended, and then once you get to 63rd, on the other it's side a is a motherfucking rap. Matter of fact, if you live on 62nd, you might not want to even go south because it might be a rap. Yeah, and don't, they, 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 don't, don't do it. Don't, don't, don't do, do it. it. But, East, but Esau can go there. Esau can go wherever the... He oh, he do. Jake, oh, Jake don't mess with him. Him. Jake would Jake not shoot. You, so. Jake would not shoot a, a president. Right. If he wouldn't shoot a, direction. if he wouldn't shoot a look, a, a, a look low level eater, Mike, he sure the hell ain't gonna shoot no high level eater, Mike. No, no, watch this as you say that. Uh, I saw a, on Instagram a thug ass nigga. He had a big ass chopper. And he was saying, I'm sitting tired of you motherfuckers talking about my President Trump. Motherfucker, anybody say something about my Trump, I'm gonna blow this motherfucker. I said, look at this dumb ass, thug ass nigga don't know shit. That's dangerous thug ass nigga, because he gonna dangerously shoot your ass. Because I'll sit there and mock his ass and fuck Trump. And he might want to shoot me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just for me telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? Talking about his, 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 his God. That's his God. That's his daddy. That's his daddy. What well, the scripture said in John 8 44. John 8 44. Get it, somebody. Is that more in there? Uh, just uh, one last on. verse. Let's uh -huh. get it. Let's yep. get it. Um, See, so, you don't even know. I was itching to get to the line today, bro. I've been pissed <laughs> off all day. Lord and I was yes. wondering, why am I mad all I, day? I woke oh, up, I'm like, Lord, why am I sad? All day? Why? I had lights all week. Man. Ooh. Are y'all still out? I was, I'm, I'm up now. But I'm it was out for the week? I was out for the week. Goddamn. Because, you know, Shabai was Thursday. dealing with it. I got Thursday, and I, Sunday, I, Thursday. I heard from uh, different people in my softball team, they were saying they were still in the, it hit the suburbs back. And that's a slow road. Did you hear about New York, too? How, uh... They, they, they 911 went out. Yep. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. I'm telling you, they, they it's here. Parts all over the place. All over the, Keep all playing the with the Lord, man. Destruction Thanks. is here. The end is here. Y'all think this is the joke? Beautiful. The most I gonna get your ass. Elder, these are this, really this, this is the last warning from the Lord. Come on, bro. That, that's what it really comes down to. All the things that you're seeing are the last warnings from the Lord saying, repent, get on board, get in this uh, uh, this spiritual ark, or you're gonna die. And a lot of our people are. And good. I personally mm. want them to die. Like I said, these days, they're just niggers and spicks to me, man. That's right. Fuck them. And, and it's like you were saying also earlier, uh, Bishop, you know, these are test runs. This is just trials. They getting you, you know, they setting up for the real McCoy. It's going to be permanent out of you. It's going to be permanent lockdown. Everything is, we ain't talking about it no more. It's here. It's on the table, all right? Door to door raids. All of this is coming. It's here, okay? And that's gonna be, we're gonna bring that out in that second uh, um, after 15. You got something? I got you. All right. Matter of fact, real quick, let me hit that and you come back to that.
God, this is John 8, and chapter, I mean, in verse 44. Ye are your father, the devil. So, like, read it again. This is uh, John 8, and chapter, I mean, in verse 44. Ye are your father, the devil. You are of your father, the devil? God. Read it right. God, ye, ye are. Take That's your so time, right. brother. It's okay. Ye are of your father, the devil, and then the and the lust of your father ye will do. Now, those are okay. Israelites. That's why I said read it right, because if it's an Eden, like, yeah, he a devil. But the Lord said, ye are of your father. All right, letting you know he really is not uh, uh, Edomite, he's an Israelite. And the Most High is pissed off because he's listening to the Edomite. And who's at Yahweh Shai and the apostles and disciples in captivity at that time? Hmm. And so people want to wonder at Yahweh Shai calling the white man a devil, that's one right here. Because exactly. he was living, Yahweh Shai, who they ignorantly called Jesus Christ, was living in uh, uh, during that time of his reign, all right, as Yahweh Shai the Messiah, all right, under subjugation <coughs> under the Roman Empire. <laughs> all right? Read, read it again. Con, it's John ch chapter 8, verse 44. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and about not in the truth, because there's no truth in him. So who was the first murderer? <laughs> Cain. Cain. And what was Cain, what did what the Lord put on Cain to let everybody know, don't fuck with Cain. He said, I put a mark on him, a mark. I put something on him, a mark that everyone who see him will know, leave this nigga alone. Why is everybody on the planet got a variegated melanin from dark to light, except for the so-called hot man? Where's his, where his darkness at? Where his color at? When the sun look on the, uh, eat him, right? they get sunburned. You, 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 you say, hey, pal, how you doing? Ah, don't touch me. I'm not just, ah, oh, don't touch me. Off, all right, they be seat. peeling and shit. You know what I'm saying? You said, tell them to have a seat. They be like, I'd rather stand. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> they don't want they did it. Because they, 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 that's right, bro. All right? <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, can't, you, you, the sun can't look on you? Shit. Now, a song of Solomon says, look not upon me because I'm black, because the sun have looked upon me. All right, and that's when my jealousy comes to these dark-skinned men like like this man right there. He got all that melanin. He got that. He got that super melanin. Okay. All right. Hey, I'm jealous of it, man. All right. And in the kingdom, I, I don't personally, just me personally speaking, I don't think there's gonna be no light, light bright Jakes in Israel. I'm not. I, I'm gonna be the darkest brother. I can, uh, hey, 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 now last week, the, 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 when it first came, I came with the camp. It was the bitches looking, sitting hey, over there man. to the side, right over here, hey. and they just like this. And then I was like, I, I knew they was having a problem in their mind. I Good. perceived through the spirit because they didn't say nothing. And I said, What's wrong? They're teaching the truth, and they didn't say nothing about the truth. They said something about him. Yep. Because they well, were. Why, they said, Why is he over there? Cause they perceive him to be white. But no, what it was though, like I was telling the brothers, they got cut so bad because you didn't, uh, um, you weren't here. Mm -hmm. But I was, man, I was going in. They heard faggots first, mm -hmm. then they heard sluts, and they were cut with what I was saying. Mm -hmm. And all they could point out was, uh, he's white. He's white. And he's not. And I you said, know? and he said, but he's white. And I said, no, he's not. He's Mexican. And then they was like, oh. But then the bitch was like, well, well, white men, there are black Mexicans and they're white Mexicans. He's one of the white Mexicans. I said, get the fuck up out of here. I said, <laughs> and, and I tried to correct them and they wasn't receiving correct. So I cussed their ass. Let them be black, Elder. Hey, let, let them, let, let let them, them fine, black. wicked bitches die. <laughs> That's right. Why did that eat my god? No, I gotta yeah. check her. I gotta check her eating my card. She might not be an eating my. Not with that ass. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Hello, right here. Huh? She had a wealthy uh, uh, greeting right here. Oh, hey, there you go. Hey, hey, smile, hey. hey, there you go. But yeah. well, hey, maybe she might be a speckle. That's white. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's white. <laughs> Bring it out. <laughs> All right, let's get back on series. Right. Right. There was more than that. Is done. Come. That was yeah. it. That was more. Go ahead. When he speaketh a lie, yes. he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. So everything that the so-called white man teaches is lies. And I'm going to tell you right to your face. All right? This is not America. It has never been America. The natives were here beforehand. Y'all just stole it and put your name on it. That's stupid. Only a dumbass believe that shit. All right? Well, I was ready to cuss you. I was uh, ready to cuss the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what'd you say, Whitey? <laughs> okay, I was gonna put it, put her ass in a place. I, 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 I,
Because we, <laughs> no, we fight for this truth, man. Hey. All right? He said, my servant's going to fight, man. We fight, man. All right? We fighting for your Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshai, and righteousness, man. And we, did, and we dispelling what the young God brought out, the lies that are inundating the world. Because, as a matter of fact, um, since you just finished, give me a, um, surely you're turning the things upside down. All right? Give me, give me that one. And uh, you still had a few? Uh, right? I just had one more. Okay, all right. Uh, Psalms 37, start verse, verse 11. But the meat shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Come on, man. The meek shall inherit the earth. You got to be humble in this truth. You got to be humble in your walk. You got to be humble in existence. Okay? If you're not meek, you're proud. If you're proud, pride goes before what? Destruction. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. No, 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 man. We, we go by twos, bro. Right. We we go by twos. It's okay. Go ahead. Was that uh, uh, more than that? Um, actually, it was it. But I I, I can still go on though. Uh, uh, go ahead. Okay. Uh, Psalms thirty-seven, verse twelve. The wicked plotted against the just, and gashes upon him with his teeth. <laughs> the Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. And see, we see the day of the Lord coming. All right. The Lord said he's going to catch the majority of these people unawares. All right, and especially Jake. I don't care that they're going to they catch Esau unaware. I don't care they're going to catch um, uh, Moab Chinese unaware. I don't care if they're going to uh, uh, cast out Elam, the East Indians unaware. I don't care about them other people. I care about my people. But guess what? If you my people, so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, and you don't care about the words of God, we don't care about you either. Praise the Lord God. said, what did he tell Jeremiah? Uh, Je Jeremiah, stop praying for them. Lead them. Jeremiah, stop. I'm not listening to them. Fuck them. And it, take, it takes a lot for us to get to that point where we like, fuck niggas. Yes, yes. I remember when we first came in, bro. Yes. Apostle Tahar be like, man, you motherfucking workers are niggas. I'm going to jump over in my to get your ass. Yeah, and we, his, and, 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 and because of his passion and festivity and his, you know, yeah. spirit, we'll be sitting there chuckling like, you know. Mm -hmm. But then I always remember, think about it, like, damn, I'm going to kill this from simple ass. I'm like, I'm going to kill that my first. No. Kill that nigga, because that nigga is an Edomite, all right? You follow an Edomite, you look like an Edomite, act like an Edomite, talk like an Edomite, your ass an Edomite, I don't give a fuck if you're an Israelite. You're Edomite, you're a heathen, nigga. And Lord said it, he said, let, the, let them be, an, uh, in, uh, let get somebody get it for me, let them be a heathen man. After two or three admonitions, uh, y'all y'all hear what I'm saying? I'm gonna put you in the script of Salaki. Yep, yep. But uh, yeah, are you holding so something already? Uh, Hold, read what you're reading, we'll pull that one back up. Kind of this is um, Isaiah 29 and 16. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be estimed, esteemed. That's Salaki. Esteemed as the pot as the potter clay. He said, Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Now, if I'm a potter. And I got me some pottery, and, I'm, and I got the pottery wheel, and I'm pressing the wheel and spinning the pottery. I start shaping it to make a whatever the fuck I'm making a vase, a, a goddamn jar, a vessel of some short sort. He said, "Surely you're what? Surely your turning of things upside down shall be es es esteemed as the potter, a potter's clay, a potter's clay." So now I'm doing, I'm spinning it, and it's looking pretty good. But then I accidentally speed up a little bit. And when I speed it up a little bit, if you know about pottery, sometimes instead of being all nice and, and wherever you had the pottery, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It might, it might uh, collapse, mm -hmm. okay? All right, so what I'm gonna do if it collapse? I'm gonna mold it mold back, it back down to a bowl, put it back in the center of that bitch, and start all over the motherfucking day. So the Lord said, read it again. <coughs> Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. The Lord says, surely you're turning the things upside down, trying to do things your way versus not doing it the most highest way. He said it just like that piece of clay. Oh, uh, you, you want to go ahead and turn this crown into a, 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 a toilet bowl? No, I'm going to take this toilet bowl and turn it back into a crown. Oh, you want to turn this toilet bowl into a crown? No, I'm turning that crown back into, into a, toilet a toilet bowl. <laughs> you are not going to dictate to the Lord what the Lord tells and is dictating to you. You all, every knee shall bow, every tongue will confess and humble themselves before the sight of, the, of, of God, all right? And guess what, who else? His sons, the angelic forces. 
all right? You, what you're looking at is the angelic forces of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And you all will bow down to us too. And act and access do we can. No, not right now, no. I'll carry it in when it's in order. Right, right now, you ain't like, like like when the day you have different people come down and bowing down because we right. cut their ass out through the spirit. And, and the pastor said, Oh, you got brothers got motherfuckers bowing down, stop that shit. Then niggas will go right back out and be eating my and still running shit. Fuck that. What the fuck does that do now? No, I want I wonder when the Lord set this righteous kingdom up and get rid of all unrighteousness, all wickedness. It ain't gonna be no rainbow pride parades in the kingdom, man. That's right. That's it ain't right. gonna be none of that bullshit. Right? It ain't gonna be um uh, uh this type of festival and that type of festival of madness. Okay? It's gonna be righteous order. All right? Matter of fact, you know what the number one job gonna be outside of the grave diggers when he destroyed this place? Husbandry is coming back. Everybody gonna know how to farm. Everybody don't go how to pick up a, a fucking right. tool and and, and 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 break soil. That's right. Everybody gonna be farmers back in, the, in, in when the Lord return, man. Majority, the biggest, uh, uh, the majority, of the, the biggest occupation is gonna be farming. Back on that motherfucking farm, dig, another motherfucker, and then guess what? Society's gonna be happier. The increase is gonna come back. That's right. All right. Mm -hmm. The health is gonna come back. The land sap is gonna, the land is gonna come back. Yeah. Righteousness. Uh, people are gonna start getting uh, stronger. <laughs> healthier sicknesses is going to start digressing okay when the lord sets things in order the earth is going to get back in order so right now as the earth is out of order just go look at the earth look at the killing look at the stealing look at all the debauchery see what's wrong with a lot of jake and a lot of heathens they in a spot like this high park where it's nice it's multicultural ethnic you don't see how was the last mass shooting you heard in high park when's the last you know big gang violence or any type of big to do in Hyde Park, then th this is the mindset of America. If nothing's going down, everything's all right. But it's not, okay? Because I don't care if in Hyde Park, if there's one idol, which I guarantee you there are thousands and thousands of idols right here, this place is going to be destroyed. Just like the woman who was sitting on there with the idol, just like the one dude in, in Egypt who had the Babylonian garments, and the Lord said, ah, we kill, help with uh, uh, killing us, what is it, um, and, and Joshua, I believe, all right? And he said, wait a minute, we, we just came out of Egypt. We can kick an ass. How we lose? Went to the Lord, and the Lord said, somebody ain't right. So they said, well, wait, let's start catching. Let's cast them lots. Lots fell on the one dude, and he had the Babylonian garden. Ah, get him, kill a whole bunch, kill all of them. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't know that it's an impending doom coming this way. All right? Go ahead. I know I, brothers are holding stuff. Go ahead, I, I was just holding it like he said. Hey, hey, farming is going to be the biggest thing. Isaiah 2 and 4. It says, and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people and they shall beat their swords into plowshares Perfect. and their spears into puning hooks. Perfect. Nations shall not lift up sword against, against nations. Right. Neither shall they learn war anymore. Brother, I need to see, see when you bring out certain precepts and one hits like the hammer to the nail, those are the ones that they read that again. This because is Isaiah this 2 be, and 4. This will be the number one occupation like in the kingdom. It, okay. it says, and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into puning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall, shall they learn war anymore. So, hey, it ain't going to be no more war. Just like you know, during King David's time, that 40 years of peace, King Solomon, Salakia, that 40 years of peace is going to be everlasting peace. It ain't going to be no more war. Uh, go ahead, speak. Go speak. Uh, I'm going uh, to bring out this. This is uh, Proverbs 29 and verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the brick of bear rule, the people mourn. So like the elder was just saying, man, when the righteous are in authority, the, everything's gonna be uh, rejoicing. The, the dogs, the trees. But if you look at right now, the earth is given into the hands of wicked. You see this grass over here, man. It's barely any, any green right there, man. Come, man. That's them kill trails. It's killing everything. You know, the whole earth is defiled. It's polluted. Okay, the air is polluted. Okay, the water that we drink is polluted. Okay, the food that we eat is defiled. People, the people. Oh yeah. The oh. man said these people is completely utterly polluted. It's full of darkness, man. You ask a nigga a question, it goes back to what Esau Edom said. Well, you know the so-called white man said.
she got to be 18 and who out the bed? Who the fuck told you this shit, man? Who the fuck told you you're supposed to be a one woman? Who told your ass to get crispy ass land? Who told you to try to be a, a motherfucking doctor, motherfucking lawyer in this society? Esau Edom, your daddy, man. The Lord ain't tell you to do these things, man. The Lord didn't tell your ass to uh, uh, be wicked. Your ass listen to the uh, to Satan, man. And then that's that's the whole spirit of these people says gross darkness covered the people. Woo. He said what kind of darkness? Gross darkness. Yes, sir. And covered and the, the people. The scripture, the scripture uh, tells us also that, uh, you know, uh, basically, we've 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 gotten so close, so far away from our power, man. And this is why we do. This is why we do not do anything nowhere near close what the Lord uh, uh, wants us to do. Don't even know His name, man. Don't even know our heritage. What's really owned and and and, and given to us, just handed to us, man, on a platter. If you under, if we would just understand the greatness. Uh, the, of the Lord, the, the, what the Lord has just put at our feet, man. Man, right, we, you you go crazy, man. Yes, that's, that's, that's why you see a bunch of men up here right now and stand up on their feet all, all over the world right now going fucking crazy. Because we know, we feel it, we see it. We believe, man. And we running with it, man. We not stopping. We stomping this goddamn earth until this until the Lord give, we don't give the Lord no rest, man. Because we tired, man. I know I'm tired to the mother. How about you, brothers, man? Tired, bitch. Tired. Everybody tired. Tired, 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 tired boss. Tired, <laughs> tired boss. Tired, right. boss. And, and we, we only have one boss, man, up here, man. We only have one boss, man. You know? Yeah, how old by Shimmy, how was shot? That's right. That's it. And we don't give a damn about how how this place goes and turns out and how it starts to get wicked and wickeder because we believe on what the Lord has told, uh, truly told us is what the Lord says that when it gets rough man wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time man you know when it gets rough man my servant shall eat when it gets rough man my servant shall drink but you gonna be you gonna be you you everybody that turn turn against the Lord man as adversary towards him man is going to fucking pay and you mark the Lord's words they ain't hey, my words. Hey, the wicked they gonna eat too. They gonna eat a missile. <laughs> they ain't shit before that themselves. <laughs> right? They gonna eat a missile. Right. They gonna be eating themselves too. But ultimately they gonna eat a missile. That's yeah. right. What the script say? Mm -hmm. They gonna look at that arm. Well, they gonna look at that arm. Uh -huh. Oh shit. <laughs> Fuck man. No. Hey, man. You just wait. No. You gotta think of the psychological oh. torture before they. You know what I'm saying? Before That's... they actually do the act. That's fucking nuts. Like you legit looking at yourself mm -hmm. like. Uh, and stomach, that's, hey, stomach. That's after you ate that cheeky. Bruh. Stomach. That's after you ate Ray Ray. Stomach. Right. Gonna touch the back. Man. Stomach is going mm -hmm. to touch the back. Man. I'm, I'm telling you right now. I, we used to say this back in the days, and I still believe it now. Them fucking honey packets, them ketchup packets, yeah. them mustard packets. They gonna be a oh, commodity. Yeah. And for a little while, gonna be a commodity. Motherfuckers gonna think of like, <laughs> they open up a drawer right and they gonna see some ketchup. They be like, that's right, that's right, Elder. They're honey from Popeye. Honey from Popeye. And they gonna be like, no, 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 baby, don't eat it all. Just, just eat half of it. Eat half of it. Oh, we yeah. eat the rest of them. We gonna, hey, baby, we, we all gonna share a sip of honey. They you take your sip. That's too much. <laughs> you take your. Hey, you know somebody's gonna be greedy. Oh come on, man. And then somebody will get up in the middle of the night and they gonna wake oh, up and all the, the and all the honey packs gonna be gone. The other motherfucker wake up. Yeah. For the honey. For the motherfucker honey. Who ate the honey? He ate the pack yourself. Who ate the honey? And he, everybody gonna like, I ain't doing that shit. Honey on the honey. We eating you now. You're right. Your ass gonna be eight for eating the honey. Son of a bitch. I it's, it's, and now you see, like, we might be like, like, <laughs> making light of it and, you know, making fun out of it. But no, we're very serious, man. All right. And, and just the words coming out, it's in the script. Matter of fact, give me a lamentation where the scriptures say, uh, lamentation is five, uh, five, four. And they, where they're sodding their children, sodding the, the bitch is going sodding. And then I need somebody to go into the blue letter if you don't go into it. And give me the definition of the word sodding in the blue letter. Go ahead. Can I get this real quick? This is the second Ezra 2. I'm going to start at 26. As for the servants whom I have given thee, mm -hmm. there shall not one of them perish. Mm. For I will require them from among the, thy number. Come on now. Be not weary. For when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful. But thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Oh, yeah. Mm. All right, just to back up uh, what Yazarala said. And hey, we're going to be good while you people are, uh, you know. Gonna be fighting over a goddamn fucking honey packets, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Verse 28. The heathen shall envy thee 
And that includes, includes two thirds of our people because they're heathens right now. That's right, brother. But they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord. That's right. That's right, brother. Hey, and hey, hey, when the Lord says my servant should eat, he's going to cover our children that they don't see hell. Yeah. He said, and uh, in six troubles, yea, and seven, the Most High is going to be there to bring us out of this shit. And they're going to be jealous of us and, have, and, and they're going to have no might in their hands. That's the reason why right now you can your lick on us. That's cool. But guess what? I'll be getting my lick back again. I'm waiting on the Lord. And the Lord's going to provide us our lick back. That's okay. Right. Um, did you yeah, got, got that? that Go ahead, brother. And you still holding something too? Okay. And Jake already getting the lick back. They're with the white one. That's what. That's white. Hey, fuck these black holes, man. That's white. That's white. <laughs> and, and, and all you niggas are trying to be like us. Facts. Hey, that, that's just facts, man. All right. That that's literally facts. Hey, hey, everybody's copying. All of a sudden, everyone's got garments now. You know, beards. big beards. A lot of a lot of uh, 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 athletes. Just saw the Edomite just walk past early. He had yeah. a big full dumb beard. That was uh, you know? handsome as hell. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like these, a lot of these people that we deal with are coming to us for counseling. They, they, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on, man. And these guys got everything, so to speak. These and we're winning, man. Yeah. You're losing. We're winning. <laughs> Tables are turning, man. Like, hey, wait, we're to, hey, we're getting W's, man. Now I know we go go through some shit, but like, realistically, we're winning, man. These people are losing. Hey, man. It's, it, that, it, that's why we're getting more confident every day. Mm. You people don't know what the oh. fuck is going on. You're perplexed. Right. Right. But you got it, Doc. This uh, Lamentations 4 and 9 says, They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. Yeah, because we brought it out last week. Hey, if, you, if you're slain with the sword, it's quick, you know, most of the time. Even if, um, let's just say, uh, uh, you know, you get that, that serious wound and you can't do nothing about it. What, maybe one or two days you might live, you know what I'm saying, afterwards? Hey, but if you're, if you're starving to death, hey, that, that's a week, two-week process. Pine and it's away. slow. Pine away. Mm -hmm. You know? That's right. Come uh, on, man. I'm wondering where you go get your next food from. And... Yeah. Start hallucinating. Start looking Ooh. like them Africans over there with the stomach way out here. And... I want to back up to something you said. This is the first John 5 and 4. For whatsoever, whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. Mm. And this is the victory that overcometh the world. Right. Even our faith. Mm. We win in! That's right! The righteous sons and daughters of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the true king of existence of the Bible and the universe, and the real king of Israel, all right, in existence, all right, is said our faith has gotten us the victory. That's right. That's right. So as long as we maintain and keep our faith, Right. We winning, bitches. Right. We said, winning, niggas. Hey, the, the scriptures say what? Uh, it says, uh, it talks about the shadow of Egypt shall be your shame. Mm -hmm. And, and yeah. uh, uh, trusting in Pharaoh, I think that's how it's worded. It shall be your confusion, something like that. I forgot exactly how it's worded. Look, these people keep trusting in America, and, and they're through out here. They don't know what, what president to vote for anymore. It, this whole thing on Friday got people all messed up. I was uh, listening, you know, to, to, to like my dad, different people, you know, uh, in Talk the world. The uh, assassination uh, no 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 the um outlet, outlet. The, uh, the outage, outage. Uh, the outage. you know okay. they're all talking about their jobs all this was out we had to go back to this and that like basically the old school way mm -hmm. you know uh, with pen and they, pen. Said with the, they said that in new york that they, instead of getting calls they had to go do walkie talkies and then do everything manual yeah and and that's a foreshadow of things to come but you got it so yeah like but it. no it's all good but they don't know what's going on you know they, they, these people are, are living paycheck to paycheck they don't know if they're gonna have a job because mind you, it's not even small businesses that are uh, that are uh, getting eliminated. We're talking about, oh, it's all good, good. no worries. No worries. Um, we're talking Sorry. about top tier good day. Uh, 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 big box corporations that are letting people go left and right. And we're not talking about oh, 100 here, 200. We're talking about thousands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at Walgreens. It's basically uh, going out of business. You had Redbox that, that just filed bankruptcy out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. And those are just two things that are coming to mind, man. And, if you, and all you got to do is go Google um, um, store closings, layoffs and so forth especially over the last three or four years then you're gonna get a huge about the band but even just now just 2024 alone you have at least four to five different damn near 100 companies get, uh, nobody got their cars parked over here dude. No, no, no. all right because the ticket bitch coming by it's, crazy. Right. Got it's, it's already happening go ahead brother by may elder ups is laying off 6500 mm -hmm. hey now it's funny you mentioned ups because i periodically work for ups i work for ups during the uh the peak seasons during the Christmas time. I probably won't do it this year because my job right now will conflict with it, but who knows? 
Um, we'll see, and we'll see. If, hopefully, we ain't here. Hopefully, right. Lord, hey. kick this shit up and get it shit, you know, get it cracking. But irregardless, they've been. They tried to get me to uh, to um, uh, to get full time with them, and the spirit said, "Nigga, keep it moving." And I, because I just didn't have faith in the shit. And sure enough, the shit stinks. Um, right after January uh, came, they laid off. They started doing the layoffs, and they've been laying off, like he said, several thousand people. And so while I'm going to try to go to UPS and go work, when all their tenured people are straight, and guess what? If you really think about it, people ain't shopping the way they used to shop. The pack, matter of fact, I, and I did a lesson on it last um, Christmas time, because I told Elder Malcolm and I told the brothers about that in the camps and I put it out there, how the year before at UPS, man, we, we were slaving like Hebrew slaves. That last year was cakewalk. And the only reason why I slaved like a Hebrew slave was because I got back first, as usual, and I was taking other people's routes. Because they don't give a fuck about letting you have your own route. If I come back and there's some packages there and you ain't back yet, guess what? You're going to come back to your shit gone. And that means the business makes save money and you, if not fast enough, have a nice day. All right? Nope. So I would be, man, I was doing two or three turnarounds to the point they'll ask me, hey, they was having me do extra people shit. He was, I'm talking about shit with the, 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 the trucks. Ooh. He said, hey, why don't you go meet the guy at the truck? He ain't going to finish this route in time. Go help him. We are gonna go ahead and give you 20, 30, 40 of his packages. So I'm like, oh, okay. I'll go out, bus out to a suburb, go get 40 extra packages. About the bam, I'm leaving out of there later than some of the the the, 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 the box right, truck drivers. That's why I knew if I was to stay there, I would be good and they would I would prosper at UPS. But the spirit was like, UPS ain't about to prosper. And nobody is shopping yeah. like that. And you're not about to just bump out some tenured nigga being on here for two years. Yeah. So I was like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna waste my time. And sure enough, like the brother said. They have a whole slew of layoffs. Where's your Sears at? Where's your Sears and Roba? Where's your Kmart's? Half the com companies that we grew up with, Toys R Us. Yeah. Where's your Toys R Us? All right. Matter of fact, all these new stores that came and popped out, why they closed now? Seeing little green stickers or the orange big one, when they really don't like it, they put the big dumb ass orange sticker, the big one too. You know what I'm saying? And I especially do that in, the, in, in our areas. But you go north and, you know, the fans through, you see a little small private little sticker and they still board it up. These, the Lord is tearing down. The, it's in the scriptures. Matter of fact, give me a real quick Ecclesiastes. Um, oh, well, when the, yeah, when the, you already know. When the, when, the, when the grind, this is in the prophecies, man. We're not telling you stuff that we're just feeling. We're telling you what's in the scriptures and what we're seeing. We see this shit. All right, you got it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, brother. There's and a, then, then uh, to you, then you, no, to you, you, and then you. Uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now, thy Creator, mm. and the days of thy youth. When you're able to, man. See, when you're old, and I'm not saying old and like 90 years old, or 100 years old, but when you get old in your spirit, where you don't want to hear nothing new. Right now, you get a certain people. You get to an age where you can't learn anything new. You know what I'm saying? See, we we supposed to always be growing, always be learning. Always be progressive. She's mine. I hope y'all didn't. I didn't, didn't, didn't have to say it. Uh, <laughs> uh, we always <laughs> be learning and grow. Hey, y'all all got dirt. She's gonna have sex tip. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. All right. Uh, but you're supposed to be always learning, always growing, always building, always getting achieving. Niggas, Jake, and heathens get to a certain point where they get. 20 years old, 25 years old. Oh, I, I, I know it. I got my shit together. I got it. I'm 30, 40 years old. I got it. You should never be in a position that you got it. You should be in a position of I'm getting it and I'm growing. Okay, go ahead. It says, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. So now right now, uh, the evil days are drawing now. All right, the, the evil, matter of fact, not not they here. All right. First of all, the, the, the first proof of here is you got the prophets out here saying, repent, <laughs> repent, <laughs> go, look in, go look in history, go look in history and see when the last time prophets came on a mass scale. That's right. All right. Right now, you got to say mass scale because it's not only here in Babylon the Great. Facts. All right. It's in Rome. Yep. Was it GMS? Uh, Italy. Uh, 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 Italy. All right. Italia. You got, you got uh, Italia, right, right. Italia. You got uh, 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 the UK. Mm -hmm. All right. They're in Australia. Mm -hmm. They're in Holland. All right, Nigeria, Nigeria, they're, they're in Africa, they're in South America. This brother is standing up in Russia as of last year. Come two, on, two years bro, ago. man. All praises to Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. He showed my hucking and hucking and hucking. Putin this, Putin that. All right. <laughs> All right, but that's a glorious. That's proof that the Lord's word is here. That's right. If you go read the scriptures, every time.
Uh, matter of fact, the Lord said it. He said, Jeremiah 44 and 4. Um, how be it, I sent you my servants, the prophets, rising early, saying, do not this abominable thing that I hate. Read Luke the first chapter. He said, the prophets have been since the world began. So we bet every time the Lord sent the prophets, it's a change. What happened when the, in Samuel, first, uh, first Samuel, the prophets came, the, the elders did what? Come and sell peaceably. I just like you for touching me, Samuel. Um, <laughs> did you come in peace? Did we do something? <laughs> and then, and something who, who, and I hope it wasn't me. Are we good? Right, right. <laughs> and yeah, and, right. and, and they, when the Lord said they turned, they had godly, righteous fear to a man of God because yeah. he embodied the spirit of the Lord. That's what we embody. That's right. Now, we don't even know how deep in that goes because they don't honor us like that. But when the Lord revealed the power within us, then that magnitude of the weight of who we really are, we, it's going to sink in. Right now, we're so busy hoping, because why we call ourselves the hopeful righteous elect, That's that it. the Lord shows mercy upon us and, and takes us and, 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 and uh, takes our sacrifice. Because right now, we're sacrificing before the Lord right now. We're putting ourselves before the Lord right now. And we pray that the Lord receives our offering. That's right. Okay? And that's why we're not sitting out here going, yeah, I'm a problem. You better get your Man, I, you better. But God damn it, I'm hoping that the Lord don't take his spirit away from me. That's why King David said, please take not thy Holy Spirit away from me. And if you never had your Holy Spirit of the Lord taken away from you, it's a very hor horrible feeling. And matter of fact, the best way I can show you, because you all know this feeling. What's the difference the way you feel now before you came into the truth? Mm hmm. Oh. You see, you got the hope now. Without that hope, you was without God, without hope in the world. You was in Theropolis. And if you didn't walk this walk, you would have been through. Gentile right. state of mind. Defeat. Gentile state of mind. We have a new, we have a new uh, state of mind. The Lord has renewed our minds, man. That's it. Meaning refreshed it, you know. That's it. Through stirring, stirring, up, stirring up that gold is that was that's in us. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? How my, how is my gold? Become dim, the scripture says, right, man. The Lord is stirring that gold up, you know, by taking us through the fire right now. First and foremost, getting those impurities out. But now he's stirring that gold up so he can come to the top and we can think. Now we can think, we can hear, we can see. You know, we can we can get, now we can uh, 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 function according to the Lord now, man. And not according to this world, man. We forsake this Lord. We, I mean, we forsake this place, man. The Lord has given, that, give, given us that spirit, man, that download, man. And the Lord says, come out of her, my people, man. And basically, like I always like to say, you know, the Lord has lifted us off the ground. We're not even walking on this fucking filthy ass earth right now, man. We don't even walk on this fucking place no more, man. What's happening is the prophecy in Ezekiel 37 is being fulfilled with the dry bones, all right? Getting the sinews, the skin back on, and also the breath of life. That's right. All right, which, hey, the, uh, say this if you don't know. Hey, this, basically, the skin represents your identity, who you are, that we're Israelites. The sinews are the law, statutes, and commandments. That's what binds you up together. You know what I'm saying? And the breath of life is the wisdom, actually having the discernment, okay, knowing the prophecies. Because I'll say this, you guys, some of our people that got the skin and the sinews, but they don't have the breath of life. IUIC is a perfect example. Then you got certain people who know that they're Israelite, right? They got the skin, but they don't have the, the sinews nor the, the breath of life. That's like Kendrick Lamar, okay? You know, uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, um, Kanye West. Yeah, mm -hmm. They know that they're Israel, but they, they they're just through out here. They're still, you know, lost in the sauce. Yeah, yeah. You know, all right. That's right. But that's what's happening. And, and what did it say? The scripture said in Ezekiel 37 that we're going to stand up on our feet, as it says also in that Revelation 11. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And then we became what that exceedingly great army. And this is what Esau is afraid of. That's why things got to get shut down because. Hey, uh, um, the elder uh, Uriah said, uh, you know, there, there's, you know, basically men of the Lord everywhere. It's just not here in Babylon. Right. Hey, you, you, you may go take a trip to London. Like, oh, man, awesome. What the hell? And you yeah. see a hey, men yeah. of the Lord preaching. Mm -hmm. Hey, you Edomites, you're going into slavery. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got Jake out there, you know, you bloke. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Cursing you out, you know, out there in the UK. Fucking and they're like, God. fuck, man. I seen him in Chicago, Miami. Yeah. What the fuck's going on? Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah this is yeah. your downfall. That's what you're seeing. That's right. Like that, uh, that one nigga, uh, Roosevelt, when the brothers came out one of these oh, Tuesdays. Yeah, that, funny that nigga said, "Damn, I changed my schedule. Y'all niggas come out Saturdays and Tuesdays." <laughs> but that's the yeah. thing, man. These people want to escape the truth. Hey, the Lord has this truth out of the four corners of the earth. You cannot yeah. escape. It's on the internet, man. You might be scrolling on your Instagram. See some shit, yo ass vex, yeah. see a skit, see something, whatever. The Lord getting his word out, man.
sins, right? Yeah, you people have no excuses, man. No cloak for your sins, which means excuses. Right. You, yeah, you, you, the word has come out. You heard it it's, uh, at some point in your life. So when the Lord starts judging, hey, 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 you can't say you didn't hear this. Didn't hear this right. You didn't know. I got right. it right here. Yo, you got it, right? Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. So, man, this word is coming out, man, and it ain't no more excuses, you know? You got a, you got a cell phone, right? You got an internet, right? So he leaving you no excuses, okay? You can't say you didn't hear this word, man, because it's gonna do exactly what he set forth for it to do, all right? And there's, and there's uh, one of the, um, the things that are written, if a brother can get it in uh, Matthew 24, it talks about how this word is gonna be preached to the four corners, corners of, of the, the earth, earth. all right? On, that's then it. the end shall come. We're seeing that right now. This word is everywhere. And what's happening to this whole world system? It's falling apart right before your eyes. Sure. Like hey, we mentioned earlier, it doesn't matter if you're in the States, you could go to the UK, you could go to France, yeah, you could go to uh, uh, Spain, wherever. It's falling apart, man. This whole world is crashing. That's right. Okay, but can you get that real quick, I got Matthew it right 24? Here. I got it right here. Uh, Matthew 24. <clears throat> I started 13. It reads, uh, But he that endures until the end, the same shall be saved, right? And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Exactly, and that's what we're seeing right now. This word is being, you know, preached everywhere. And I'll say this: <laughs> it's just not in English. It's yep. in Spanish. Yep. It's in Dutch. Yep. And, <laughs> oh, you you can't right. speak? Oh, well, guess what? We got sign language, brothers. How about them apples? Right? Yeah. How about them apples? That's right. Jack. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Literally, you you got a whole camp. Actually, a lot of the, uh, a few of the brothers in the UK, now I think there's two deaf brothers, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I believe yeah. they, they, they strictly speak in sign language, yeah. but I know, I believe he's the head of the camp, if I'm not, I believe he's the head. He speaks Dutch, English, German, and he does sign language, because sometimes I'll see him with the, with the sign language brothers, all right, teaching. You have no excuse. No excuse. No fucking excuse. No excuse, man. Get that in Isaiah 19 as well, start at one. No. You have no fucking excuse, man. I say you got a cell phone, you got internet, yep. you got a television. Man, this word is going forth. Oh, shit, you're walking in the streets. That's walking right. By. <laughs> hey, they don't pay us no attention. Wisdom goeth out with the craft, 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 craft out the street. street. Proverbs, Proverbs 1 and 20. Right. Wisdom craft in the street. You know? hey, like I said, man, hey, I'm in the spirit good. <laughs> I want you to bypass. Nigga. Come. Good. <laughs> uh, hey, this is for me and my brothers. That's right. Yep. Not yep. you. Nigger. That's right. Uh -huh. The and Lord actually fuck is, man. the Lord actually got his angels watching everything and taping everything. So when you go before the judgment seat, like the scripture talks about, you everybody's gotta go through before the judgment seat, right? To to to, to uh uh to uh be uh, uh judged on what you have done in your body, what you coming out of your mouth and everything. You going through that uh, 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 before the before the, the throne and the lamb, man. No ifs, ands, or buts about it, man. But uh God dog love my train of throat. Uh the Lord is gonna have those angels, and you're gonna say deny. You're gonna deny, deny, deny all you can. The angels, the Lord got the angels, man. The angels are the eyes of the Lord, man. Yeah. Hey, the Lord is just gonna say, run that tape back, sit that angel right there, boom, you done. Hey, hey some of you it know? sound film. Yeah, he's on the radio, film. You know, ass, and you cussing out my man. You know what I'm saying? Get your punk ass out here. <laughs> just just uh, gnashing the teeth. Throw him at that. Bite him yeah. up and change the dog. Snatch the teeth, man. Bring it out. But uh, hey. can you get the Isaiah 19? It's Isaiah 19 and one, the burden of Egypt. Behold the Lord. Like Psalms 19. Oh, Psalms 19. Yeah, Psalms 19. <laughs> this bad, is Psalms 19 and 1. It says to the chief musician, a Psalm of David, the heavens declare the glory of the Most High, mm -hmm. and the firmament show off his handiwork. Yep. Day unto day uttereth speech. Day unto day uttereth speech, keep going. And night unto night show off knowledge. Right. Night unto night. Look, it doesn't matter what time of day, all right, yeah. it is. You're going to see something. Bro, the brothers be live at 2, 3 in the morning. Right. Hey, you, you, you might be, uh, uh, you know, waking up early for work. You know, you got that super early shift. You're like 4 in the morning, you know, 5 in the morning getting ready. Hey, you, you have a brother, uh, uh, you know, that's up teaching, all right? He's up, you know, late in the night. Hey, yep. shit, we, we're all, we live in different time zones. 
Exactly. Oh, you might have a UK brother teaching. You might have a brother, you know, in the Holland camp teaching. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you can't escape it, man. Uh, uh, hey, then, then a lot of times, man, brothers camp at different times. Sometimes you're early in the morning. Late. Sometimes in the afternoon. Hey, you got certain brothers that, that teach more, like, for instance, Dallas. They teach more in the uh, in the latter part of the evening. Yep. Okay, like 8 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Yep, yep. And they're out there till like, 10, 1030. Yep, yep. Come on, man. You have no excuses. <clears throat> While, while you're going to the club, yeah, so you see the man of the Lord. Hey, repent. Yep. <laughs> Nigger. Again. Yeah, that's why I said it. Repent. Then you got the false camp. Fucking repent. Yup. Repent. You got the false camps. They out here doing whatever the fuck they be doing. And that's pushing the word. And uh, the elect, they go hear the Lord's voice and get in the right order. Exactly. So you ain't got no excuse. Uh, it says, verse 3, there is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Exactly, it doesn't matter what, 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 what language you speak. Right. All right, like we brought out, hey, English, Spanish, uh, 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 Dutch, okay, French, sign language, hey, we, we got it all. Right. We got it all. There's no excuses. The scripture says, thou art inexcusable, Ooh. old man. Yep. And that means mm -hmm. old man too. All right. And just for the website, like I had an important call from one of the brothers. Uh, keep, just keep the body in prayer, bro. Oh, this particular brother downstate got shot um, last night. Nick was, um, he was not doing no nigga shit. He was leaving his bitch house. Some niggas was some nigga shit. We still don't know the fullness of the whole matter. But um, the brother's okay. He's, he had surgery. Um, it was shot in his abdomen and his, and his, uh, and, uh, and his elbow. All right. Um, and and so, so keep him in prayer. We got another brother that's going through a situation out in Cleveland. All right. I'm not going to go into the matter. Man, that's sexy. Man. Uh, uh, and and it's just it's just um brothers are going through it, bro. Nope. I can talk about the hey, how you doing, sis? Hey, and a pretty smile too. That's lovely. <laughs> uh huh. Um, and and brothers are going through it, man. We warn, we 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 we, we battling. Um, you know, I had my car, t you know, t um, stolen from me uh, a couple weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? I got and we 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 all we if your brothers tell you everybody's sob story. Yo, what did Yahweh Shai say? Can you drink of this cup? Yeah. And they say, yes, Lord. He say, it's surely here. Don't drink of this cup. We're drinking of the cup of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that means we're going through hardships. Matter of fact, somebody real quick, give me Paul. And he said, the perils of countrymen, the, the yeah. death. We are all walking a, a, a life of Paul right now. I got a fast one for you. Uh, this is Luke 14 and 27. And whosoever doeth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. So you got to bear your cross and wait, the Lord has a tailor made. All right. He has tailor made afflictions for you, whatever it may be. You know, hey, the elder, you know, talked about his car right now. OK, and hey, some brothers are dealing with the health issues. Hey, the wrong brother, it's, he got shot, which is fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Other brothers getting kicked out of their homes, whatever. You know, what I, got my, I got family coming against me right now. You no know, shit ain't got shit to do with them. But since they don't know the real law, they up there worried about the, the fake white man law. You know what I'm saying? And then vexing me with the shit. You know what I'm saying? You got every, I got baby mama drama. We all got shit. And that's the whole point. I can go right now and pop off these brothers and their issues. Because we hear them and they tell them and we, and we talk and we communicate. That's how you know we almost out of this bitch, bro. That's give me, give me that scripture. Who got it? I got the, uh, that, Paul, uh, Paul. Second Corinthians 11. Yeah. This, uh, Second Corinthians 11 and 24 says, of the Jews, Five times, uh, 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 20, 23. 20, 23, and if it's not, we'll say go It's 2 Corinthians 11, 23. It says, 21, I speak as concerning reproach, as though we had been weak. How be it, wherein soever any is bold, I speak foolishly, I am bold also. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. Are they ministers of Mashiach? I speak as a fool, I am more. So when you when you talk about this ministry, how about Shemiel Shai, one of the prerequisites of coming into this truth as in Sirach, no, yeah, Sirach says, my son, the second chapter, first verse, if thou comest to serve the most high, prepare thy soul from temptation and constantly, constantly, constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. When you come to serve the Lord, you're going to get inundated with trouble. Trouble in your flesh. Trouble in every single way. We're about to go into a synopsis of it. Okay? This is another sign of being close to the end. Okay? Go ahead. 
it says, in labors more abundant, in stripes above measure. So we see us always doing lessons. We're doing lessons all the time. We, we actually real talk. I speak for myself, but I can speak collectively for brothers. We get mad when we can't do a lesson every day. Yeah. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Let it let go past. God damn it, I was trying to get a lesson in. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes the spirit does that. So the next day I try to get two, two in, maybe three. We try to we, go look at our pages, man. That's one thing that all you nigger lights out there who think y'all in truth and think y'all in camps. Why, why, why IUIC ain't got no 10,000 videos going up weekly? Yes. All right. God, I, I, I saw the don't. Marching down, marching down. See, but do, but do, but do. Y'all dumbass shit. Ain't doing shit. In the army now. In the army now. That dumbass shit, man. And what's that do? Not changing shit. If every one of them men, as they were marching down on the streets, if every one of them steps was a video, how many more people would be aware of this truth? How many people would know that we are the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the real biblical Israelites by blood? That's All right. right. And that's why we're supposed to follow the law, statute, commandments of the Most High. That's, that's right. why we're supposed to be um, treating people the way we want to be treated. That's, that's right. why we're supposed to uh, uh, cut off this wickedness of this fucking world and this wickedness of this fucking flesh, man. Go ahead. Yep. It says, in stripes above measure, getting out as, and, and that's, now Paul, he went to actual physical stripes. He said above, above measures, but he went through a lot of uh, fucking getting his ass whipped. Okay? He gonna, he gonna say it, keep going. It says, in prisons, more frequent. Hey, <laughs> lock the fuck up. Yeah. Did not the apostles get locked up? All right, then a lot of brothers get locked up preaching this truth, okay? They tried to lock us up, but we we, we, we made peace with the adversary while it was in the way. All right, you remember when, when the seed to the one nine was here? And oh, we yeah, was out yeah. there preaching, motherfuckers, yep. pop, they posted right up over, right across was like, um, according to code section 7796666666666. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 do it to the so called bullshit that's going on. If you all don't get the fuck off this corner in five minutes, we're locking you up. You know what I'm saying? And what do we do? Uh, with that, we're going to say all praises. <laughs> we, we got the fuck up out of there. Okay. Go ahead. It says, in depths off of the Jews. Five times received thy like, 40 strikes, I mean, no, save no, 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 one. No, no. Oh, on. deaths, yeah, you deaths said off. deaths off? Yeah. How do you think he got up to see this, the, 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 uh, the third heaven? <laughs> oh, you thought he did, he went in his flesh was like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You think the angel said him in his carnal flesh? He said, come over here. Dude. Gone, boss. No, no, he, <laughs> had, he went into the spirit world, bro. Yeah, he got stoned. All right, because yeah. he, he, they stoned him. Yeah. They tried to kill him multiple times. Shit, he got bit by a poisonous snake. You know what I'm saying? They thought he was about to die right there. Shit. So he died several times. And then the Lord said, I'm gonna send you back, but first, let me give you some breakdown. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he went and gave him some heavy, heavy breakdown. Even Peter was like, damn, Paul. Yeah. Hey, hey, they ain't gonna, hey, I get you, Peter. But I'm telling you right now, Sakari ain't gonna get you, bro. They ain't gonna get it. They gonna they gonna wrestle with this one because this is rough. I can see like, how this rough. He's like, why, well, boss? Hey, that's why he, the apostle Paul said, what, well, I'm betwixt, mm -hmm. yeah. all right? Hey, but he, the, uh, the apostle Paul said, what, well, I endure all things for the elect's sake. Yeah. You know, he knew he had a, a mission to complete. Man, it's funny you said it, because not the way you said that made me see that whole description, a whole other light. He said, I'm going to straighten tricks too. Because he actually seen that it was in the presence of the Lord and the angels. So it was in his mind. Nope. So, so down here, if I saw the, uh, the glory and the beauty of the Lord, and he said, now go back there. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Fuck. I'm, I'm coming back down here, but well, I'm, I'm in a straight, I'm in a straight for tricks too. I want to serve you. And I want to wake up my people. But I want to be with you, Lord. Fuck these motherfuckers. And I just put a whole nother layer on it. That's why there's different layers in these, these, these scriptures the Lord reveals over time. That's, that's mighty. That's mighty, man. I never thought about it from that perspective. That's what, that, that's just made the straight even more. And that's, and that's, that, that's with us too. Because now we see the wickedness of this world. We want to get the fuck up out of here and get, get to the kingdom. But guess what? We can't get to the kingdom until we wake up our people. Shalom! We the real Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in and week out. I'm trying to wake as many people as I can. I got the word of the Lord. I got the word of the Lord. I got the truth. I got the truth. Anybody waking up? We pipe. You're not dancing. Uh, we, we're lamenting. You're not mourning. And that's the right spirit to be in. Because that's how we get woken the fuck up and get out of here. The scripture says we got to labor uh, to enter into it's that rest. rest. You know? That's right. So and guess what? You got to labor hard. Yeah. Got to abound, as the scriptures say. You know, we got to do this until, uh, what is it, uh, that book of Isaiah 6? How yes. long, Lord? Yes. Utterly wasted yep. away. You know? 
That's right. Go ahead. It says, of the Jews, five times received I 40 stripes, save one. Shit. You got to think wait. about it. Good, no, you got 40, 40 stripes. Get, and you got to remember, th th these are whips, man. Five 40, 40 times. times, man. Five different times except one. So four times you got the, the, the maximum amount according to the law. Okay. And then however amount, uh, how many of uh, that fifth time. Ah, that's only six. Shh. And you God know, and, and you know these. Mother See, I was doing the nice. Yeah, well, they're gonna come up there yeah, with yeah, that, they gonna, yeah, and they and they tell you a whip that was made to whip. Yeah. All right, not no goddamn it. I go, boy, give me a little twig. Like, man, I would have got my mama came with my ass. I would have got the most little fragile shit. She'd be like, they can get your ass and go give me a twig. Don't make me pick it. They even show you that in uh, in that, that was actually happening too in that uh, uh the Passion of the Christ. Now I know they're going off with the you know with the depiction, but you can put that in your head like. Look at that dude after he got whipped, man. You know? Mm -hmm. Apostle Paul went through a four times, 40. he got the 40 stripes minus one. Who, who knows how many times he got whipped the fifth time? Right. And that's a bull whip. Yeah. That's man, a bull whip. And, that, and, and, and that's, that, that's that whip, that just like it, brother. That, that, that's that reach back from yes, right sir. here mm -hmm. to cow. Mm -hmm. It was no, no, look, no, stop. I told you, don't you do that. Right. It was yeah. one, it wasn't none no spanking, nigga. Yeah, All right, oh, it was, a, it, it was, it, it, matter of fact, think of the dude. Yeah, that's what I was thinking uh, yeah, about yeah, think yeah. about the dude, the famous picture. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, of the back, yeah, 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 sit with the back, with his back, uh, um, yeah. um, slashed scarred up, up, scarred yeah. up. Oh, oh, Paul's man. back had to be looking yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah. not worse. He that's right. Yeah. Fuck. He man, this yeah. shit, did. see, we, this was, this is what makes us passionate. This is what actually makes us emotional, man. Yeah. We're not in here for just kicks and giggles, man. We're not here just for a show. So, so lucky, and this makes me, man, and this, you start getting upset in the spirit and vexed with when you got niggers, and I'm gonna say it, man, like Sakari, say, oh, the Apostle Paul, you know, his writings don't matter. It basically, uh, well, I'm not gonna honor him. Fuck you, man. Right. Fuck you. Man, the Lord fucking kill you, man. Now. I'm so fucking tired of these, these, these false prophets, man, talking shit about, uh, uh, uh first and foremost, Yahweh Shai, uh, well, first and foremost, Yahweh Ba Shimmy, I was shy on down, man. Fuck you, man. I can't stand that group, man. That's why I'm I, I, the water that the Lord's breaking that shit up, man. That's man, right. Lord, kill you, man. That's right. right. That's right. No, man, like, I'm in the sentiment of Apostle Kabar and Apostle Tabar right now, man. Y'all brothers better be praying every single day, all throughout the day. Lord, Lord, please, please. Y'all be be crying, man. Yeah, just think about it, Lord. Think about it. All right? What about the importunity? But Apostle Kabar brought that out. The importunate. Um, yeah. uh, uh, lesson he did a couple uh, last week or so, mm -hmm. and that's one of my favorite stories. I used to go. He went into the female, but I went into the dude uh, uh, right. who kept knocking on the door because he wanted the, the, the bread or the food. And was like, I'm sleeping with my children I'm in the bag. He, but y'all yeah, was trying to say, but just because he kept on knocking, just for the importunity of yep. it, the annoyance and the bugging of it, he said, okay, fine. Uh, here, take two, fine, go, show him. Uh, we gotta be bugging the Lord like that. Because guess what we want? We want that real bread, that bread of life. He's the bread. That's right. I need this, Lord. That's right. I need you. I need salvation. Right. He said, Harley, do, uh, we, do we guess all right? All right? Uh, uh, we, we, um, he's, he said, a just man falls seven times. All right? He said, let not your sins weigh you down. All right? We're inundated with a, a spiritual battle, emotional battle, physical battle, financial battle. Staying in battles, this is a constant warfare. That's why he said that he, they will wear out the saints of the Most High. We're worn out, and guess what? Dirt's fight. That's right. Because we're fighting for the Lord, and He won already. He got the victory, so we're waiting for ours. All right. Go ahead. It says, it says, thrice was I beaten with rods. Shit, you got to think about whips and then rods, and we're talking about just iron, man. You know what I'm saying? That can break literally uh, 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 bones, man, with one strike. That's right. That's right. Well, this, this ain't a man of the Lord. He's not important. Okay, buddy. Hey, okay, so, oh, so, oh, okay. So, 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 that, 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 this, this cuts that Sakari bullshit as doctrine on fall right now. The Lord said his word of God is purified what? Oh, seven yeah, times. Seven times in the what? Fire. In the fire. So how, if the word of God is purified seven times in the furnace, that Paul's sneaky ass get to put 13, 14, however many books of Paul in the Bible, with, and it's wrong straight sending you off. And then, like Apostle said, I said it too in, in different les lessons, um, before I even heard the Apostle say it, letting you know, um, and other men of the Lord, this came from the Spirit of the Lord to multiple men. 
If you say Paul is off, get rid of Acts. All right? Because guess what? Luke, I believe he wrote Acts, right? If I'm not mistaken. And uh, Luke bigged up Paul. He talked about Paul, expressed Paul, showed how Paul um, came and what Paul did and how Paul changed and validated Paul. Peter validated Paul. Okay, Peter said, hey, Paul's a righteous man. And some wrestled with his words saying he's controversial because his shit is deep. Okay, all right. And then, uh, and ultimately, how about Shemiah Shai vetted Paul because he's in the book. So now you're saying, how about Shemiah Shai's off, Peter, which is the King David's off, and now you're going to say, uh, Luke. Luke is off. All right, men of the Lord. Those are all men of the Lord. The Lord said, uh, let everything, uh, and matter of two or three witnesses, let a thing be established. Well, you got Peter and you got uh, Luke that validated Paul. If you are a righteous and, uh, and spiritual man, you would never say nothing bad about Paul. But guess who said stuff bad about Paul? Certain Christians, man. Certain faiths have said shit. That, that, that Paul ain't uh, canon or Paul wasn't right doctrine came. That's not new. I've heard that before I came into the truth from dumbass nigglets. All right? Go ahead, brother. Now, if it says... Oh, somebody come in here and park and take up two spaces like that. You dumbass. Go this, ahead, bro. This is America. <laughs> Shit, fuck. Man. It says, once was I stoned... <laughs> so wait a minute. He went to the 40 stripes yep. five times. <laughs> then he got the rods. Three times. Now, you know I'm a baseballer, so I got... A, I got... I got... I have rods in my, in my possession. I got a bunch of them. Oh, and I'm being hit with a rod hit getting hit with a bat getting hit with anything hard metallic it does not feel good hell go ahead it's and then, wait a minute what do you do what's another one you just said once was i stoned so, now you understand why he said um and death soft <laughs> <laughs> Shit. he tell you right and death soft man it, they, they done stoned me they done Whip rotted them. me they done whipping me they done i've been through a got poison yeah. come on it says thrice i suffered shipwreck and, and, and you gotta think about it. that's not you know, oh, you just got a flat tire. Yeah. You, you oh. in the goddamn sea, man. <laughs> hey, get, 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 sh get shipwrecked in Lake Michigan. That's where we're at right now. That's the, the biggest body of water near us. Oh, get, get shipwrecked out there. How you see how mm -hmm. you feel? You know what I'm saying? Oh, and, and 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 for the record, Lake Michigan is huge. Yes. And if you if you go, you go five miles and down into Lake Michigan, you you won't be able to even see a skyline or anything. You'll be out there and just the, the walk. Yep. And, and just imagine being out there with no flotation device. Yep. Uh, he uh, he might have had some wood that he was holding oh, on no, so to oh, hold on because right. if he didn't have it and he was for he said several days or whatever, shit, your arms you you going you ain't gonna be able to yeah. uh, to, to paddle the, the doggy paddle. Yeah, no. You gotta think about it too. What if this happened at night? It's pitch black. This is not in modern day times where, mm -hmm. and even then, shit, man, you you get away like how the other said five miles, six, seven, eight miles away from hey, the, the city. It's pitch black out there. You don't know what the fuck is there, you know, in, in, the, in water. the water, man. Yeah. You, you, you're being in a spot that got jellyfish, a uh, spot that got, you know, stingrays and all kind of sharks, uh, 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 electric eels, sharks, and, mm -hmm. and um, fucking hey, crabs and whatever the fuck. It, it's great because you mentioned jellyfish. Uh, I, I was out there in Texas, right, where my people are from. And it's by the coast. And um, uh, this happened actually twice. But the one time I went out there, this is when I was a teen, it was like that jellyfish season. That's like a... Uh, Basically in the springtime, and they come out heavy. Literally, my brother got hit by one of them. He couldn't fucking move. Mm -hmm. Like, he was literally, like, paralyzed, basically. Yeah. And that's why I'm going to kill you. Yeah. Enough of them right. hit you. That's how, can't kill you. That's how serious that is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. just, just the jellyfish. We're not talking about a shark biting mm -hmm. you, biting yeah. a limb off. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And, and guess what? Come on. The, and, and, and it don't have to be like the jellyfish was actually coming for you. You could just went by just you you you, you, you swim you, sw you swimming you minding your own business. He just happened to <laughs> that little bit that little bit that little bit right there just like that would have been like and you would have felt a little tingle like Ugh. and the more you rubbing the more tingle you rubbing it in there. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit! You know what I'm saying? Fuck. You know, then the next thing you know you it, like it says when you get poisoned it starts attacking limbs and start uh, and it'll, it'll slow you to down and do a whole bunch of shit to you, man. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. It says, thrice, it says, thrice I suffered shipwreck, a, a night and a day I have been in the deep, and journeys often. In the deep. Yeah. It says, and journeyings often. So he, he you got to think about it, he was in the deep, he was really in it. Yeah. It. Like we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. That's scary, you don't know it, whether you're coming or going. That's right. Yep. And you're basically subject to the winds and the tides yep. and the Lord. Yeah. All right, go ahead. It says. And journeyings. 
and journeyings often. So wait a minute. Do you know what it takes to journey? We 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 have several brothers that travel a lot. I used to be one of them. And sometimes I haven't. Uh, been, uh, yeah, we, we got somebody. <laughs> we got somebody. I ain't gonna say no names. All right. He like to go ahead and become. He believe his campus in Houston. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and he believe no, his no, campus in Dallas. He no. believe his campus in Austin. He, yes. No, the Murph told me. What do you say? Okay. Oh, he gave me that look. He said what? He, he gave me that look going through some uh, Austin and uh, Houston stuff. He gave me that look. He first said, Cap, Chicago, your Cap, Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's right, Murph. That's right. Get him, Murph. No more. I mean, get him, Murph. Get him, Murph. All right. Now, you see how this car is struggling to park? I'm looking at yeah. that. <laughs> because of that dumb bitch. All right, cool. But anyway, yeah. so like, like I did, yeah, we, we yeah, see her, and and, they, and she don't know what you because they right. they got enough space. I feel so motherfucker can't drive. That's why. Man, give me that shit. Give me that shit. Give me ten dollars. I'm shit. A foot off the curb, bro. She about to do the whole thing again. And I know it got to be one. I'll be surprised. You driving that fucking? What is it, man? All right. Anyway, so like, yeah, it says, and journey is often. Okay, journey is. So brothers traveling all over, right? Do you know what goes into traveling? How much gas it is just to go to uh, to, to, to drive to New York, to drive to, te uh, uh, I can hear lawyer right now. Lawyer from Miami been fussing at me for years. Elder, I've been up to Chicago 10 times. When you coming down to come <laughs> see me, bro? You don't fuck with me no boy. You just want the family. And I'll be like, all right. Hey, Matati. <laughs> yeah, Matati too. Like, you're only five hours away. I, you can't come over here to see us and so far. You know what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> and I take it back. It was a man. But it was a mole bike man. So I was right. <laughs> so I still was right. Yeah, these here are fucking drivers. Hey, but you got to think about it real quick, though, at a point. This is ancient world traveling, too. Oh, yeah. Exactly. By, by foot. Yeah. All right. Maybe a, what, a horse, a, a camel at most. You know what I'm saying? And then, an and then, and and then your, your rations and so forth. You yep. have that. Because if you don't have any rations or something, you 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 walking 30 miles, 50 miles, 100 miles, and go look at your so-called back of your Bible. Almost every one in the back of them Bibles, uh, 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 got got the got, got, I get you know can help the um the maps in it with the little uh, Paul's journey. They got it the Yahusha journey, right? So you dealing you dealing with a long walk. You're dealing with dealing with like he said beasts. You're dealing with people, different people, uh, heathens. You're dealing with different uh, elements. Uh, elements. All right, you come out there in this nice, beautiful day, and next thing you know, it's pouring rain. Yep. It's pouring rain. Uh, uh, she went into Target, or she went across the street. Uh, uh, it's pouring rain. You're dealing, you're subject to the elements. Yep. All right, and then you think that you packed up good enough, and then it's, the weather is good. The next thing you know, it's good. It's nighttime, and it gets, it gets down oh, to 50 no. degrees. And now you're like, damn, it's 50 degrees, and this is all I got. I got a little small shirt, a little small tunic, and you sit up there trying to just. Do the best that you can snug, to, to, to snug yeah. up for a little bit uh, and, and then like he's, he's gonna say it in a second but then dealing with all the different churches that he come i don't save that one Keep, yeah you about to say go ahead i was gonna say like especially like somewhere like in the middle east the the, the, the terrain varies all yeah. right you could go from a desert to a mountain like that right and it goes from like how you were saying like 90 100 degree weather mm -hmm. plus to all of a sudden you're in the mountains and it's, it's snowing man damn there depending on how far uh, elevated you are that, that's serious, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on, man. This is dude on Instagram, he he in Western Asia or some shit. I have no idea where he's going, but he just, he documents his, his walking, his journey and shit. He's, he basically, had, um, when he finna go to sleep, it's hot as hell, it's 100 fucking 20 something degrees. He set up his tent, says too hot to sleep, so he gotta wait till the morning to come. Then when it's in the morning, it's too cold to sleep, so he gotta jog and shit to heat up his wow. body. And then when the sun finally come up, he can go to sleep for a little bit, but then it's too hot to sleep again. It's three hours he sleep. Fuck, then man. it's a hundred some more degrees once it's just fucking 30 degrees. And I, that's why I was snapping a couple of days ago on talking y'all not ready yet. The lesson I did. Niggas don't know how to make a shelter. They don't know how to uh, to, to uh, survive in the wild. They don't know. Matter of fact, I can see some shit you can eat right now. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm, I'm going to quiz you all right now. Let me move this out the way. All right. Right now, in this little vegetable space right now. I'm gonna go with you first, Elder. What can you? What, what's edible? Like this type of uh, uh like uh, I doubt ground it. cover. No, nope. because you can uh, pull out the roots and you can boil that. You, you might do, but are you sure that's edible? Yeah, that's edible. Okay, I give you kudos then, because I right there I would have said no, but I did because I don't know that. Because you, you gotta boil the roots and all that. Okay, so you can do that by boiling the roots. All right. Yeah. What now? You can't use that one. What else? I'm just looking at these damn. Huh? Clover. 
clovers? I don't see no clovers over there, but you can't eat they clovers. Clover? That's not clovers. Damn. Those are not clovers. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's not clovers. Oh, now clover. I see plantain over there oh, right yeah. now. The plantains, these are the ones that with the long, long stem. The long stem, mm -hmm. I'm gonna take one of these. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. 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 edible. Eat, you can eat, matter of fact, I'm taking this whole thing up. Stang gang. You can, eat, you can eat all this, the plantain. Not the plantain banana looking ones, but this is called a plantain. This is edible. All right? Sunflowers. This is edible. You can eat the leaves, you can eat all of this. All You eat the roots, all of this is edible. The, the dandelion right there, too. Yeah, it's the very small. It's done, though. Sunflowers. The, dand the dandelion right, 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 right there. Oh, yep, yep. That's the dandelion. Yep. You can eat the dandelion. Hey, I believe this is moringa. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not 100% sure. So that might be edible, but I got I would have to double check it because some leaves look dissimilar. I'm not. And the difference could be poisonous. That's why you have to be very careful yeah. of what the fuck you eat. The most high soul, yes, it could kill you if you don't eat the right thing. But how many people would know, and while they're sitting here hungry, <laughs> they'll step right on this yeah, and not rain. think about, they would not even think yeah. about eating this. You they wouldn't even know. Hey, what's funny bad. is uh, you got these Moabites, right, from whatever Bufu part of you know, China come over here and they'll go in the neighborhoods right on you know the city parks and all that and you'll just see them I feel like, oh my god man it's really it's a lot it's a huge distraction bro you can't help bro that's why you can't help it and that was very... just built man she just built look, look at this and that was built with oh nothing on god damn but, mean, um, how, how you how you wearing a, a bustier that's not even covering the boost all the things do it it's like the shit you can see the only thing i can't see is the nothing exactly but um <laughs> <laughs> but but they, they, they'll uh, go into these parks, these Moabites, they'll go into the park and uproot all these different, uh, what they would call so-called weeds, put it in a bag and they'll just take, the, uh, take it to um, their house and they'll do whatever with it, you know, put it in teas, all right? right. They'll, they'll eat the roots, you know, it, you know for whatever, uh, uh, herbs and all that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know but see, see that's why the scriptures say, hey, for you brothers out there, because this is what King Solomon said. In, um, uh, I think it's Wisdom of Psalm in 7, I believe. It says um, uh, basically how he knew all these different things, how the Lord gave him knowledge and all these typical things, right? And, and one of the things says, what? The diversity of plants. Yeah, you're supposed to get into this. Hey, once you uh, come into this truth, you're supposed to know a little bit about uh, this, that, because it talks about in that, uh, that same uh, uh, chapter, it talks about basically knowing, the, uh, knowing astrology, Knowing the uh, uh, diversity of plants, the diversity Boy, of it, it talks about uh, 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 the, the the reasoning of men, so on and so forth. You're actually supposed to know these things. That's right. You're not supposed to be one level in this. That's all right. right? Which, that, that's part of our jobs as men of the Lord. All right. You, uh, he said we have an unction to know what all, all things. things. There you go. Now let me read some of this, uh, some of the benefits. Because now I just show this is the plantain. They call it plantain weed. Now you look at plantain by itself, they're gonna show you the banana. But the so-called plantain weed is not a fucking weed. All right, as I broke some of that off. But in human studies, plantain has been affected for chronic bronchitis, asthma, cough and cold. So you got asthma, here's your cure. All right, you got a cold, here's a cure. Right. All right, hold on. Uh, asthma, cold, bronchitis, cough, all right. Uh, aside, apart from antimicrobial and antioxidant Ooh. attributes, uh, that means this will help you cure a lot of shit and not and help prevent you from getting sick again. Um, apart from antimicrobial and antioxidant attributes, broadleaf plantain has been documented to uh, possess anti-inflammatory and anti-tumor properties. Mm, so you want to go fight cancer? You want to fight certain things? It's the, the, the research says eat some plantain. I got a precept for you. Quick one. This is Sirach chapter 38, Perfect. verse 4. Perfect. The Lord hath created medicines out of the earth. Yep. And he that is wise will not abhor them. And that word abhor goes into basically uh, avoiding it and also hating it too, because I've seen different definitions for that word abhor. Mm -hmm. Okay? If you were wise, you would use these things. And you see, hey, the majority of you people actually aren't wise. What you do is you go run to Esau, all right, go to your pharmacy, which that word goes into witchcraft, pharmacia, okay, and basically eh, down a pill, which that's going to make you down two more pills. Oh, now you're at three. Well, now you're going to be at six pills very soon because they, it, it causes issues. They even tell you, oh, you know, you want to take this pill for depression, right? And it's a, it may cause this and that, and they'll say it may cause suicidal thoughts. Hey, I thought I was trying to uh, use this pill 
to stop my uh, depression. Now you want to, now it's going to give me suicidal thoughts. Why would you take that shit, bro? The side effects, you take it for one of the side effects was going to kill you. <laughs> it may cause death. That's not on this place, man. And, and, and all y'all keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments of this temporal present day evil world and not the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, you're going to get thrust through. You're going to go into that lake of fire. It talks about in Zechariah 13, chapter, verses 8 and 9, okay? You, they, hey, hey, I, 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 you got a missile. You might have to eat one of them missiles, you know? Good. That's right. That's right. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to check that one out. And that's why I, I know people don't want to pay for the little apps and shit, but I did it because I, I'm, I, I'm actually a husband, man. I, I grow um, 30, 40, 50 different fruits, herbs, and vegetables. I planted two years ago raspberry bush right outside my house and this year finally fruited you know what i'm saying um knowing what i know now yeah. if i would have done this i would have did this way back man my shit would have been amazing right now and yeah, that's why you see certain properties right like the elder was talking about like how his uh, uh, uh properties becoming these people like in particular because esau does it they've been in that same house for let's just say 20 years mm -hmm. and, it, and it looks in a sense like a jungle but it's all organized and it has all these different herbs all right fruits all right, uh, uh, vegetables everywhere. And then, then they use it, and you notice their health is great. Mm -hmm. Great, man, compared to the, the average Jake out here. You know? That's right, so bro. that's why hey, brothers brother should really get into these things. And if you don't have a lot of space, hey, all, all you need is a small, you know, little bucket, all right? And, ju and just, you know, hey, you could do the, the oregano, the, 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 which is, that's something that's really uh, a key to have because that, that, that helps out with a lot of diseases, man, right. all right? Yeah, I'm growing you know, basil, so, so I'm on growing and so forth, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take a lot of space. Get, get, get a little thing before, you know, ferment. Mm -hmm. So now I'm, I'm going into mine. I don't know if this is the one that I paid for. It's one of I didn't and one of I did. But I'm about to go take a look. I'm going to just see what this one is, just for you to be able to identify, unfortunately. All right? Unfortunately, they don't teach us this shit no more. All right? That's common mallow. Okay. You gotta pay for this. So that, right, right, you gotta pay. Right, 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 right. This is ridiculous. See, I'm gonna ask if mallow, um, metal, what medicinal use? First thing that came up. What does it help with? Go ahead, read it. Inflammation, skin wounds, antibacterial, Dang. bladder problems, cough, pain relief, throat infection, <laughs> antioxidant activity. What does it say? Constipation, digestive issues, Damn. immune system effects, mouth in inflammations, mouth. respiratory illness. <laughs> this is just one plant. And this and this is one plant that people gonna walk past and would not even know this is healthy for you. You want you got you're hurting, and that's why I said it, it damn it made me think of moringa almost, but it's not. It was it was mallow. All right. And then you it's, also, it's a common mallow. He said it's common. It's every fucking where, and people just step step right over and walk on it. And not knowing that this is actual food. And, and, and you know what's so wicked about fucking Esau, man? Once people start finding out about these things, then he, he, he develops a market. Okay? A market. All of a sudden, he's selling you a, a few bundles of this for fucking $5, $10 when it's everywhere. Like, I, it won't, you know, once I started really, because I'm, I'm like the elder, I got plants and, and stuff in my house, right? You, you, you look at how much they sell you, uh, uh, how little, I'll just say that. In quantity how much they give you okay at these stores and how much they're charging for such things as mint all right uh 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 uh, uh, uh basil hey, so on and so forth what's and right you, outside of my door the mint how much it's a lot it's like my, my literally elder my, my mint's like up to my uh, uh waist yeah. and above it's beautiful and it's everywhere yes and but they're going to charge you for, for a couple of uh, uh, three four dollars yeah, five dollars five dollars for, for a about, few about, about bundles about. matter of fact most. but almost something like this this right here, I will say double this, and I'll be four, that'll be four. That double this, yeah. and it'll be about four dollars. That's how demonic Esau is. Even that that uh, that whole uh, acai stuff that's uh, from Brazil. Acai. Okay, that that's a common thing out there. And all of a sudden, now this guy's charging you ten dollars to just get a little bowl and some fruit in it. That's it. If, if right. I may, like when I was a little boy, my grandmother and her mother used hey, to Tracy. eat kale. They they sell it in the supermarket now. But it grows wild, okay? Right. And they used to cook it and boil it down south, and you can find it here. But when Esau found out about it, now you see it in the supermarkets, and, and it's an outrageous price tag yeah. on kill. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. Outrageous, yeah. outrageous yeah, price tag word, on it, right? Outrageous. Uh -huh. hey, did it, hey, you gotta remember, there's so much land 
okay, throughout the states, and they're, they're gonna tell you that we're overpopulated. Get the hell out of here with that. Man, yeah, like just in the Chicago land area, it's just open fucking fields and. Chicago, mind you, no, not Chicago land. Chicago itself, man. Oh, yeah, it's so okay, much. you you go to the west side, the south side. There's so many empty lots. Uh, yeah. Come on, man. Then you start going out the suburbs, land. Then you go into the rural area. Come on, man. Get out an hour outside of Chicago. There is land everywhere. That is a a, 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 a BS statement that th these Edomites are saying, man. Exactly. The the whole population of America, I believe, can fit in Texas. And, and get a huge portion yeah. of land yeah. too. Yeah. Like what the fuck, man? This guy is the damn devil, bro. Hey, this is Genesis 1 and 29, and it reads, And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth. And all these plants bear seed. Okay, keep going. Even your grass bears seeds. When you let it grow, it will bear some type of seed. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, right. It, soon, as matter of fact, grass gets this high. And, and then as soon as it gets out, it's them to start. It don't, it's not, it don't look like wheat, but it has those kind of little things that they have the little yeah. wheat things on it yeah, all yeah right. but my house it all depends on what kind of type of species of grass but there's Hello. there's literally by my house grass that that's over six feet tall man yeah sit over six feet tall and then the uh the, the um i guess you would call it the fruit of the the plant is like about yay big bro mm. with just seeds all in it and that's it genesis 1 and 29 and god said behold i have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree in, in, in the which is the fruit of the tree yielding seed to you it shall be for me. Yep. That's and right. You, you can use it for food. That's but it. See, Esau, it is food. Yep. Uh, Esau, he, he's, he tells you, you can only have these th you know, three, four meats, okay? And you can only uh, eat these vegetables and that's it. Everything else, oh, it's a weed. It's not good for you. And then, then after that, he goes and spray on the grass around it right. to make sure nothing no, else grows rose. except that, this that grass. So that, now, that, uh, that. now that shit and that, that chemicals go into the water, goes into the uh, goes into the system, it goes, goes into all that. And they got animals walking on it, your kids playing on it, all kind of shit. Wondering why we have all these irritations and man, this shit is wicked, bro. This and shit is absolutely wicked. Leviticus chapter eleven. That's your dietary law. That tells you what you can and you can't eat, even though you know they want they they want the, the seafood platter, endless shrimp, you know, crab. They don't just want crab; they want Alaskan king crab. Yeah, exactly. They don't want shrimp; they want jumbo shrimp. <laughs> Shit, I just man, seen these two third ass niggas with it, man. I just seen a nigga make a pancake with a crab come, on that come, come, come. That's it. And there's so many fish out here. Yeah. I feel like I had to see now you know we prove all things. Right? <laughs> I know you said it, but I had to go see for myself. <laughs> That's called uh not grass. K-N-O-T G-R-A-S-S. Not grass. Common not grass has been used in traditional Chinese medicine mm -hmm. for centuries. Just backing you up. Uh you said it was Chinese people take this shit all the time. Yeah. Was, yeah, I see this man was telling you the truth. Mm -hmm. Uh <laughs> I, just, I just got woo, bro. <laughs> Uh, Chinese medicine for centuries to treat a var variety of conditions from skin disorders, mm. hemorrhoids, mm. Oh, hold on a minute, no. <laughs> uh, 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 menstrual problems, thank the Lord, I mean a woman. The plant has also been used in Ayurvedic medicine to treat digestive disorders, mm. respira respiratory problems, and skin conditions. But they will go ahead and, uh, um, I got a, a got, matter of fact, I don't even want to pull all this up because this is, this is not like a regular plant. It's called not grass because it looks like grass, but it's not, but it's not grass. <laughs> not grass. It's not grass. All right. Okay, yeah. And this right here can heal a whole bunch of shit too. Just this not right grass. here. Not grass. Not grass. All right. That, that, that's amazing, brother. And this is, this is the knowledge that the Lord is going to restore to the earth. It ain't going to be a whole bunch. You know what? Ain't going to be no hospitals in, in, like that in the kingdom. All right, not like we have today. With, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to be this mass death and you, like Apostle uh, Rahai said before to me, and, I, and he said it, it was very poignant when he said it to me um, some years ago. He said, "How the fuck?" And I thought this, and that's why when he said it, I was like, you know. And he said, uh, "How the fuck you got the place of birth at the same place yeah. of death?" 
And so you got death and the spirits and all, all the chemicals and all the bullshit that come out of death and it's hitting the vents. I don't give a fuck how many HEPA filters this and HEPA filters yeah, that. Yep. Yeah, they, 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 this is a hospital. That shit blowing all around germs. You know where you go get sick at? At the goddamn hospital. Yep. Yeah, I know. Stupid. People feel, uh, that's why the second, uh, you, you know how people, they may stay in there for some time or whatever. The second they get out, they, they feel uh, uh, refreshed and healed. They're like, oh, I couldn't wait to get out of there. Because it's just, it, there's, there's nothing but diseases in there. And now it's not just the physical stuff. Even just mentally speaking, man, every, you know, got people like in a low estate, bad vibrations. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, bro, you don't want to be around that shit. That's right. So, I mean, this is what it is, man. The Lord is coming back. He's yes. waking up our people. Right. He's warning the people. He's showing in myriad of different ways all the bullshit that's about to come down that's on right. this motherfucking God-forsaken place. Right. But he says that his servants shall eat. That's right. All right. He said they um he's gonna keep our children from seeing hell. Well, these are the tools. First of all, it's the truth, the spirit of the Lord. That's gonna cause it. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, hey girl. girl. I know. Yeah. Hey, he comes. Dog, I, gotta yeah. Let, I gotta let her sniff and make sure cool. Hey, mama. I'm gonna have a treat for you. Well, I'm gonna be. <laughs> I didn't see you last week. I was wondering what happened. Yeah. Where, my, where my girl at? <laughs> oh, my friends were here last week. I was going to do something in the city. Yeah, yeah, he was out of town. That's okay. Yeah. I'll see you next week. No week. problem, bro. They do my BJ. Hello? Hey, hey, we love the animals. And, and the reason why I really like that dog now is because he said she don't fuck with nobody. Mm. But she fuck with us. And he said she's real scared. He was surprised that she was. Uh, right, he was surprised that she was even, you know, entertaining us because she's skittish. Like you can see, yeah. she did got a, a, a scary yeah. uh, vibration, but she was fucking with us. Hey, it was like the, the Todd Moore and I was going to my car. Mm -hmm. Somebody had their dog off leash, just chilling. Uh huh. You good? No, I'm, I'm good, brother. But um, let's stay free. The, <laughs> the dog started following us. Uh huh. Told you, told you. Nah, that, ain't, that ain't free. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, this, this little dog started following us. Like yeah, he told Taz, I'm like, he wants to be amongst the prophets. Who said that? <laughs> Me, because the one dog started following us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. the but they, they yeah. see the spirit of the Lord on this, man. Hey, even though, remember Shatari when we first started the, the camp? The camp. The, uh, uh, there was these, man, it was, what was it? Uh, uh, pit, uh, a pit, pit in like some do, do, dog or it was it, a dog I mean, or a gentle? It was a bully pit, a big pit. Yeah. And he was all up on me and me and the bishop, you know, and and and, and, and soon as dude walk walk, man, they tried to tear his head off. Yeah, they almost bit him. They, they tried to tear his head off. that one guy that's uh, homeless around here, yeah. like like Shatari said, he he got them spirits on him. That's mm -hmm. what they felt, and they wanted to attack. Right? Mm -hmm. that's, that's right. Cause so they were sniffing us and playing and yeah, everything. Man. They weren't bothering us, but soon as dude walk up, they. Yeah, hey, see, that's why Lord, oh, hey, Lord said he he made dogs to tear for what that day. That's yep. right. That them four sword judgments are coming. All right, and it's going to be a lot of people who are going to die. All right, a lot of family going to die. I just told I just told one of my sisters they saw when I came up. I was standing in the back for a minute cussing at one of my yeah. sisters about my other sister, saying I don't give a fuck. She, I you know what I'm on, and she act right, and she don't act. If she don't act right, I'm putting I'm putting curses on her, which I did. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. Motherfucker, you ain't calling on your how about you shot and you came against me when my mama died and now you're coming against me now Fuck you. I hope you die and I hope you burn and I hope you burn in hell <laughs> <laughs> I hope you get that missile fire, bro. That's right. All right, because this is what it's about. It's about Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and the truth. It's about repenting and living your life as a Hebrew Israelite according to these scriptures. Not no Christian bullshit of just being nice and pacified to everybody. Yahweh Shai went into the temple and turned the changes and tore, tore the motherfucking temple up. Yep. All right. Everybody up in there too. All right. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> she, she, the men of the Lord, were, we, he, he said he was an austere man. We were rough. Now we don't come off there trying to beat anybody. What we're here to do is, as you see in our energy, is to wake you up, to provide you the words of life, so we can all call the name Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Once the one third calls Yahweh Hashem Yahushai by Shemer Kadosh, He's coming back and saving us, man. All right. When that, whenever that number, whenever it's the the the, 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 the ceiling is finished, it's being sealed, it's done, man. Okay. So hopefully this has been edified. Yes, sir? If I may. No, 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 keep going. Go ahead. And, and, and this goes with what we were both saying back here, Elder. We're mm -hmm. both ready to leave yesterday. Yes, sir. This is Luke 4 and 18, and it reads, The Spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal captives and recover of 
Yeah, Sight that. two, the blind. Let me start. This is Luke 4 and 18, and it reads, The Spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach he the gospel, the gospel, to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are blind. Keep reading one more verse. Read 19. I got I, it. I, I, no, I, I, no, uh, I'll read. I, no, I got it. I got it, uh, and I'm going to, uh, I'm, I'm going to I'm right here. And I'm, and I'm, 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 I'm there too. And, I'm, and the sun is not here. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. It's against the sun, so I can see it. To, pre to preach, I'm going to read it again. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has appointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Come. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Come. To preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind. To set at liberty them that are bruised. To preach the acceptable year of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Uh, and guess what? They marveled at him when he said that because he was he just that was when he first entered in his ministry. OK, and that's what we're here for. We're here to warn the people, wake up the people and build up the people. And then after that, we're here to put the earth in order. That's right. Because he said, uh, with thee shall uh, what I break in pieces to kingdoms. With thou are my battle axe and weapons of war. All right. So hopefully this has been edifying. To the spirit and power, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai, by Shem, Rakadash. All praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai, by Shem, Rakadash. Double honors to the apostles out of New York and Great Millstone, GMS. Honors to all Akim around the planet, lifting up the name of Yahweh, by Yahweh, Shai, in truth and in sincerity. Okay? Shalom to the sisters of the hopeful, righteous elect. That you can't leapfrog over your husband to get to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And Shalom to the children of the hopeful, righteous elect. May the Most High bless and keep us as well. So, and with that, we're going to say Shalom. Shalom. Ababa Ball. Ababa Ball. And Kwame Asharala. Kwame Asharala. Shalom. Turn those machines back on.